I, I'm recording this because this is ridiculous. This is us setting up the space to, uh, to we're trying to frame. Uh, I should have brought a light. This is on me, my bad. Bad on me. You, are you recording? No. Okay. For some reason, Daryl thinks that if I pull down my pants, that'll help everything. I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, am I am I doing am I doing sunny or am I doing moon? We get some moonshine or <laughs> to do the sun. All right, I think if I go over there, we'll all be in. Everybody, it's very dark here. <laughs> I don't know if you could see anything. It's so freaking dark. Um, but this is our first official part. You know what? Can you uh, close that curtain because that's causing backlight and it's probably confusing the camera. This is our first official podcast, folks. What was the you're going to see all, all what it's like. The curtain just... <laughs> just a pretty close to curtain. Yeah, <laughs> that curtain right yeah, there. I just, reach up there. I'm so well, I didn't mean you, Daryl. Hold on, pull it over? As in what? Cover the window light. Uh, uh, pull it over. Uh, I said cover the me. light. You tell me. Uh, yeah, yeah. See, actually, AJ's still mostly in frame. Uh, so that means like somebody could sit a little higher. And it'll probably be in the camera. Is that good or is that... Uh, more. All the way. This is, this is what it's like, folks. <laughs> Behind the scenes. I'm including this because... Why? Because I've been doing this for 10 minutes and we haven't even recorded anything. Yet. Is that good? No. <laughs> Are you serious? No, no, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Well, I gotta make sure Daryl... Daryl is literally in a shadow. Wait. He's moving his head. I can see him. Okay, that's good. And there's Nick. So now I'm gonna come in here, and I think I'm gonna be behind Nick. But I have old knees, so I can't be squatting forever. Maybe maybe I can sit on this chair. Yeah, a cane. Oh, right. well, come on this side. Okay, then Nick, come in the camera, and you tell me if I'm in frame. All right? Oh, this is so. Stupid. Are you really gonna include this bullshit? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and you got your baja on the floor. Oh, I know. Why is it so goddamn dark? Am I in the frame? Uh, yeah, but it's really dark. All of me? My head? That's what she said. <laughs> um, Am I in there? Is all of me in there? That's what she said? Yeah. Nick's, Nick's making jokes. Yeah, you're in. Okay, so it's good then. It's ready to go. Yeah. So then you could sit here. And this is uh, the first official Scummy Resellers podcast. That's the last place actually I saw oh, AJ was at was Meadowland. Yeah. yeah, AJ was at the Metal Lines this week. Right, so I'm going to introduce everybody, Hi, Nick. in case you don't know us. Uh, on my far right is Video Gamer Daryl. Uh, well, watch out my soda. I know, I know. Um, if you don't know who Daryl is, he's a big collector. At one day, at some point, maybe I, if Daryl says it's okay, we'll do a walkthrough. One of our next pot, I... Um, our next podcast we're gonna do. We're gonna have all the machines on. We're gonna have them well, all running, and we'll probably do it in the kitchen. And, and we'll do. I should have brought a light. That's and then my we'll bad. have the. I got a light in the kitchen. That's very bright. Oh, before we really get into this, I should ask: Does anybody have to go to the bathroom? Uh, I, <laughs> I, 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 I interrupt really, the I get myself ready. <laughs> okay, AJ, because usually it's if AJ has to go, it's like twenty minutes. <laughs> you have to go. No, all right. Okay. I can drink like eight eight sodas. Though. You got you got like the camel bladder. All right. Shut up. <laughs> so um, maybe next time or in the future, what we'll do is maybe I'll do a walkthrough with yeah, your place. Yeah, because I got machines we'll get in a there sense too. of what it's really like. I'm surprised you don't have like a lamp or anything, nothing like a, because a this house is like a million years old. Oh, I see. All right, it's fine. Well, uh, bring your big light in next time. I'll bring a light. I don't want to overdo it though. Yeah. You anyway, you won't pop my fuse. You won't pop my fuse. I want all these machines in there. Okay. All right. My far right, video gamer Daryl. Uh, he's got a very big collection, um, and we'll do a walkthrough at some point. You'll show off, right? Uh, this is AJ. Either you love AJ or you hate AJ. A lot of people don't like me. Uh, <laughs> right that's now. That's your YouTube name. Yeah. ASAP Zonk. That's everybody. right. I'm I'm secondhand Daisy. Uh, we should talk about how we got our our our, our, our names for. Yes, but but at I'm first I'm I'm switching my name again. Well, this is Nick. This is son of video gamer Daryl. I should put that as my name. You should, and then you should have a big Godzilla and a little Godzilla. Yeah. You can show up. <laughs> anyway, let's do a birthday gift before anything. Okay. Um, okay, Daryl's birthday. Happy birthday, Daryl. Thank you. 
And okay. I thank you. And I did bring you your gifts. I'm gonna read you what I wrote. Daryl, happy birthday. Hope you love your gifts. Now you didn't tell me we were doing from, prepared statements. From AJ, Tony, Paige, Marie, and Daisy. Okay. So I'm gonna open. How did you put your name first? I'm, we I'm didn't vote on that. What? Why did you put your name first? We didn't I'm vote gonna, on I'm that. Gonna, uh, that was impossible. So okay, I'm just goofing here's around. Here's the thing: people. the items won't won't be here for a few days. Yeah. Oh, you sent me something. But uh, we're gonna yeah. send That's you gonna some items. It's gonna come straight to the house. Oh, excellent. We got you. First of all, this Xbox One adapted controller. Oh, cool. That's great. So yeah. you can play your video games on the Xbox One. You said that. all you've been wanting to do is play Xbox One games? Oh, man, man. It's better than you. I'm sitting here doing nothing. I can't That's pretty much it. And now, this one, and we also got your detachment. This is a one-handed joystick. Were you awesome. aware of this thing? Did you know that this was something? Or? No. Because I didn't know about it at all. In case uh, you, you so everybody much. out there does not know, uh, let's say you're handicapped, you, you're a... Uh, uh, You've had a stroke, you could only use one arm, uh, you're disabled in some way. They make an Xbox controller, and it's an Xbox One controller. I don't know if they do it across no, platforms. Um, it's for PC and Xbox. PC and Xbox One only, yeah. which is like a really great thing for people who can't use both hands, or even if they can't use any of their any hands. hands. Because yeah. they also have mouth attachments that you can blow them. And, and I mean, they, it, it's so not... you just use one hand? Yeah. Or you just use and one it's hand not else? that expensive. No. It, it's uh, very uh, reasonable in price. Uh, maybe in the video I'll, I'll put a link to it in case yeah. people are interested in getting something like that uh, for themselves. What are you doing, Nick? You know, it's... I'm just are you trying to, to film too? I'm trying to get a release. Uh, okay. Yeah, because Nick, Nick's doing so. Alright. Um, why don't we tell how we got... Okay, this channel is the Scummy Resellers. Uh, the okay, Scummy Resellers channel. I have everybody except you. Because they're really scummy. We are really Well, scummy. that's going to be part of the topic. I, I made an index card I've with been, three topics. I've been scummy since 2001. I'm not in... Fr and yours? Yeah. And okay. uh, we're also gonna make. That's a, okay. We're also gonna make a video on secondhand Daisy, after this, saying that you should check out the podcast. We're gonna leave the link in the description. So people know where to find it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so, just put a link. But why did you emphasize that? Because you you'll be like, eh, let's not do it. No, why would I? Oh, secondhand Daisy. Why don't we put it to yours? No, 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 because you have more subscribers and you get more views than me. My subscribers. We're gonna post. They don't listen to me. If we propose the video on your. This is my YouTube. general complaint about my subscribers. And then, uh, uh, I love you then, guys. Uh, we're but... gonna say on your YouTube, we're gonna be a quick thirty-second video. Yeah. Check out our podcast on the Scum and Resellers. You're gonna right. leave the link. Yeah, I mean, then, but I leave a link every time for the Scum and Resellers. Huh? No, but like, a link to the video. All right. So, how did you get your name, Video Gamer Daryl? My name is Daryl. That is a name that I chose from eBay. Oh, you did? To start my eBay in 2001. And so you had an eBay account before you had a YouTube account. crazy thing is that it was already taken by somebody else. So there was another video game with Daryl? Yeah, I choose another one that wasn't used. That wasn't used. Is that why you have like two L's in it or something? Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's not how you really spell. See, that's crazy. Do you think this other video game or Daryl? press too. Do you think this other video game or Daryl still exists? There is other ones. Oh, so there's a lot of them now. You have to be like video gamer with Daryl two thousand six hundred and seventy. Yeah, that's what it, they have numbers behind. Them. Yeah, yeah. I would. It would be nice if they keep them. It's like nineteen ninety eight video gamer Daryl ninety eight nine days stuff like <laughs> yeah. that. Like man, <laughs> video gamer eight. The first time I ever went on the computer, what on, on eBay was from Web TV. Oh, remember that? Yeah, my yeah. first computer. And I would talk about our first computers. Go I, ahead. I bought. I remember Web TV. Atari Jaguar. Tell people what Web TV is. Uh, this is old school gaming stuff that a lot of people probably have never heard about, which you may be loud. able to find in the. Well, you have to talk loud because it was a unit it's that like, you would hook up. He's got to very a delicate ears. We folks. hooked it up to a big screen. <laughs> we put some cotton in there. A big square, big screen TV. Yeah. So it was so blurry. It was horrible. <laughs> it's not <getting> loud enough. <laughs> so. Why was it so hard? But I don't remember what. what okay, you don't know what TV is, is because well, it's a little well, bit. Well, I know, I know a little bit because of George told me about it. I think in the beginning, people didn't know how they were going to get on the internet, and uh, computers were very expensive. And in the beginning, most people didn't know. Most people did not know what to do with a computer. Yeah. Everybody's like, "I'd like to get a computer, but I don't know what I would do." Because I didn't even know it was my mother. A computer was, was basically for most people in the beginning a fancy word processor. Yeah, I had to you go could to type my on it. Well, my my mother-in-law's house to go use her web TV, so I yeah. go on eBay. Yeah, it's kind of like how cable was in the beginning. You know, if you, everyone's like, really "What do you need cable, cable for? I got an antenna. I can get all the channels I want to see." Right? I should have a live instead of what? Oh no, I, live. We'll, maybe we'll do live another time. Uh, but don't distract me. So, 
most people already had a TV. Mm -hmm. And they didn't want to spend... Uh, my first computer was a piece of crap. Uh, it, was a, it, was a, it was an Apple computer. Like you? What? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it had, like, almost no power. I would compare it to, like, what? It was Mine about as powerful as about, like, a Nintendo 64 or something. Huh. Or, yeah. yeah. And they, they were, like, they were just... My thing's worse. Than no, no, no. The first computer I had had a, a hard drive. I believe it was, like, 20 megabytes. or No, I think yeah. it was 80 My megabytes. My had a floppy disk on it. Uh, they all had floppy disks. But I think it, the hard drive was, like, 80 megabytes, and I think I had two, like, one, two me megabytes of RAM or something. So, so it's a ridiculously slow... Whatever, and everybody did dial-up. Yeah, but in the very beginning, before uh, Web TV, and I had forgotten about Web TV, it was like, should I buy a computer, or I already got a TV, and I buy this little box. The computers, the, my first computer cost me like 1200 bucks. I wow. Think. Yeah. And it was like nothing. You're that old? Yeah. Well, they were, my computer was, uh, it was cheap. It was like one of those Apple ones that had the TV in it. And uh, it might have only been black and white. I don't even see them at the metal ice cream box. Yeah, yeah, they want like 100 150 for them now or something. Um, people that want to collect them or whatever. Um, so, web TV came and went, right? How long was it around? Is it still around or? No. Well, I mean, you can go on your TV, internet on the TV now with smart TVs. Yeah. Yeah, Xbox yeah but that's smart my, TV. But for a while, it was like my, you get uh, my TV right up there. That I have is actually a smart TV. It's actually. Oh uh, yeah. Well, Isn't that crazy how it came back though? After all these years. I mean, you can do everything with your phone now. I mean. We're not even talking a long time. We're talking about like between all right, fifteen years. Fifteen years. The first computers were like total garbage. They were just these huge machines that did almost nothing. And I think what happened was in the beginning, people were like, "I don't know if I should buy a computer." And they predicted like within within a certain date, every household would have at least one computer. Which I mean, I guess they were right, depending on what date they predicted. But in the beginning, nobody knew what to do with computers because there was nothing on the internet. There was literally nothing. Yeah, nothing I think what, what started it was when people started like um, AOL Messenger, stuff like that, Face Chat. You know, my, you know what my original Face email chat. was? What? CompuServe. What? Anybody ever hear CompuServe? What? You never heard of CompuServe? Yeah, I think CompuServe was something like something to do with Apple or some computer store or something. Um, and they actually shut down CompuServe maybe five to ten years ago. So, um, why not just like Twitter? But that's an interesting thing. What did these look like? What the CompuServe? No, the the. T it, was the like a, it was like a, almost like a tablet with. And will it say on it like? Uh, well, it would. You would see it on TV. It, it would have. Um, right like, now, everybody's getting a wonderful view of Nick's stomach. It would have. <laughs> it, would, it was like a tablet. You can be quiet. Was, I am trying to get. How am I supposed to be quiet? We're having a vlog. Okay, everybody, a moment like, of silence. It was like a tablet <laughs> that had buttons on it. Like, Silent like prayer. A, like a keyboard that Did you pushed. It? Yeah. You can be quiet. How big was it, though? It's like, yeah. Okay. And and it was more of a keyboard, right? It didn't yeah, have a screen. I, I bid on an Atari Jaguar and won it. Did it have a cable that hooked up to the TV? Yeah. Okay, you nice. You want an Atari Jaguar on it. Uh, it the Atari Jaguar had it on it? No, that's the first thing I bought on eBay. I had went to the oh. and bought an Atari Jaguar with the power supply and the, and, the, and, the, and the, what's that, Aliens game. Right. Right. I bought that and I wanted to play it so bad. It didn't work. Of course, I got it from Metal Entity. Tell me it works. Of course. It didn't work. Because they tested it. So everything. I wanted to play the game so bad that I bought one online. Hmm. Then I used that to test the system. The system didn't work anyway. Hmm. And this was 2001, guys. So he didn't buy this recently, like last week. You Let's know how I got it? out there. You know how I started selling on eBay? I was literally forced into it. Uh, I was doing flea markets all the way up, up to the time when I was forced into selling on eBay. And I was buying stuff at one flea market and taking it to a better flea market to sell it. More of an antique. I would buy the yeah, antiques that, that don't scummy. sell. Uh, well, actually, that's one of the topics. I, after this, we can get into. Let me put my glass. I got to put a glasses on so I can read my own notes. But I had three podcast ideas. Oh, wait, don't say them yet. I want to say about my first. Computer. I'm only going to do the first one. No, my first computer. Okay, AJ's first computer. I got to talk about this. It was it like first that? Wait, wait. I'm going to guess. It was like what was that one? That, was, that had the little LCD screen? Okay, no, it wasn't. <laughs> Mine was in 1999 or 2000. I don't know the exact date. I was young. I got it for Christmas. Back then, it was like $500, $600. You're still not with And I, I'm not. Oh, on yours. And like, it was like a... It was you like, gotta get like a tripod or something. It was like a gift for like the whole house. Oh, right. Because I remember getting the N64. But you immediately that hogged it, right? I got the N64 that year. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then we got a computer. Because back then, computers, everybody needed one. So when did I, you... I was starting to get at the time where like everybody wanted one, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Everybody wanted a computer by then. 
So I remember playing games on it, like the Muppets. And what it was a big do? tower with, with one of the, like the, te- like the now, old I'm gonna, TVs. I'm going to ask you, like, when you first got your computer. It was how- so slow. It was, it was, window, oh, of course it was, was Windows about. 98, guys. But how many times did your grandma catch you uh, <laughs> watching internet porn? I was, like, I was like four years old, Anthony. Uh, well, that's when it first came out. I'm just showing it early. AJ doesn't like porn. I was four years old when I went on the computer. Oh, really? Four years old? Yes. Right but I let my daughter use a computer when she was uh, young because she was about five or six, right? Uh, Daisy is older than you? Or Younger. Uh, okay, so then my first computer probably came after yours. Yeah. Uh, but I had to buy my first computer, and they were $1,200. That's a lot of money. $1,200 was more than I paid in rent. This is even yeah. My first computer belonged to Nowadays, my wife. you can buy the computers at the Walmart. When we got our first apartment, she <laughs> banged with her. I don't know. It had Windows 95 on it, I believe, and it had AOL. You know, the ding, ding. Well, ding. I had a Mac. So I had whatever the Mac was. Uh, and it was actually, they didn't even call it, they called them Apple computers back then. They didn't call them Macs yet. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I have to say how I got my name now, too. Oh, that's right. So how I got my name was, I was working at Jamba Juice. It was my first job. Oh, yeah? Before it was smart enough, where, where, in, the mall? in the mall, in, in the Jamba Juice Plaza. is a juice store in the mall. I've had it once, and I love the. There's not actually a food oh, called Jamba, just only in case everybody's knew, wondering. But like, that was uh, that was actually really good when I got it. Do you no, ever no, only, papaya cake? only if you knew. I don't know. Like, that's that a New York it. thing. Papaya yeah, cake. I'm telling you, and New Jersey maybe. If you know what's in it, you will never eat it ever again. With Jamba Juice? Yes, it's dairy substitutes. Uh, yeah, it's it's not. What can you substitute for dairy? I don't know what the hell is it. It comes in like a can. <laughs> you have to punch holes. It comes in a huge can. You punch holes in the you, top. disgusting. Anyway, yeah. how I got my name it's was... probably some kind of coconut juice or something. The guy said, the, the, the guy said, hey, I don't know if I called you ASAP AJ. And then I said, the manager this was. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, okay, so I changed my Instagram to ASAP AJ and then ASAP Retro Game. How long did you last there? Yeah, hold on. I lasted like, like two, it was a summer job, like two months. <laughs> Wait, my, okay. question, my question is, how long did his channel uh, live for which channel? His, his channel is active. He is active. You're crazier than you who when you got a stomach ache, you crazy. Um, oh, you have this close in five months? Yeah. Well, we're going to give you a shout out too, and then anybody that's, I don't know, 13 years old and wants to watch your channel. What's your channel, Nick? <laughs> oh, my 13 year old. How old do you what know? What is your channel, 14, Nick? 13? It's, I'll send it to you. What is no, no, name? just say it. I don't remember the uh, Alright, no, send it to me, I'll channel? post the link. I don't have the oh, Anyway, so I got so I got the name ASAP. <laughs> okay, I'll post the link at the end. So I, so I got the name ASAP AJ. So the ASAP AJ involved the ASAP Retro Game. And then ASAP Retro Game involved to ASAP Zonk. I got a and pocket. That, and that's where I am right now at ASAP Zonk. Okay. John. All right. How oh, wait. Do, and then wait. No, hold on. Then Zonk. Zonk came from the video game Air Zonk for the Turbo Graphics. Oh, okay. Air Zonk. Yeah. Uh, did, and did you beat that game or play it all the way through? I love the game. All right. How did I get my name? All right, I actually had a shop. Cause my daughter. Yeah, my daughter's name is Daisy, and we sold secondhand that, that stuff. Photo shop but I had a shop in Manhattan. Yeah. That photo shop? Yeah, I know a lot about cars. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, I'm like a mechanic, right? Oh, What's the hammer thing that you hit the car with when it won't start? <laughs> so anyway, a um, special shop we had in New York. We had a secondhand uh, shop. It was in Union City, shop. and we actually called the secondhand Daisy. I actually had the, um, I incorporated it and everything. So then I figured, oh, uh, it would be good to have a YouTube account that would re- related to the store, I yeah. guess. Or I just kept the name for some reason. And my channel evolved. My channel's like 10 years old. I don't even know. I've never gone back to see what my first videos were. Everything, but I think they were probably pickup videos. But. Everything I've made is always in March for some reason. Like, this my like, YouTube account was made in March. Like, everything I have has been made in March. Just why March? I don't know why. I just, like, oh, I'm going to do this in March. It's like. He chooses March, folks. <laughs> All right. Um, so that's basically Secondhand Daisy, uh, which I thought was a fine name for what I was doing. But then as we got into gaming, it's like everybody's like, what's with that name? <laughs> they, I guess they expected to me, me to be like a, a woman. Oh, and my icon picture? Yeah. I'm very lazy. So every, <laughs> probably a lot of people it? don't know who the... Uh, what my, is that? Like, yeah, it's I, never, a, I never knew which icon. So you don't know who it is either. You I should know who it is. It's a, vain, a very famous... Author, it's the guy who did uh, Old Man in the Sea. It is uh, mm-hmm. uh, the Hemingway girl's father. Uh, I forget his name now. Uh, oh, I bought a magazine. Well, actually, Marie found a magazine many, many years ago, and it was signed by uh, something Hemingway. I'm gonna look it up. 
but he's a very famous author. And what uh, author? And what what I did was I just took. I needed an icon picture, and I didn't have one, so I just grabbed an icon picture from my computer. Yeah. And um, the author of Old Man in the Sea, uh, many other fine books. So the one with the uh, that's and the one with the whale, I think Moby Dick. Um, <laughs> Dirk. His yes. <laughs> if, do you do you remember who Muriel Hemingway is? I've heard of it, but I don't she was uh, she you was. Can, you can get away with saying that to you know, movie. <laughs> she was uh, in Star Eighty. You remember the movie Star Eighty? Where she did a uh, Anthony. Nobody's probably watching this. She's a very right famous now. actress from the nineties and eighties. Anthony, something. nobody's watching this right now. Yeah, I they are. Why they all left? I <laughs> forgot that you. were Everybody, old. this is the time AJ says if you got to go to the they bathroom because crazy. it's boring. <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, that's how I got my name, Secondhand Daisy. And the icon picture is a famous uh, uh, writer. And the reason I used it was because I had a picture of a magazine. It was a Life magazine that uh, he did. And it ha we had his autograph. And I sold that for $1,000. Oh, wow. Yeah. 20 minutes wow. thousand yeah. bucks. That was scummy, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so how do we get the new channel, Scum yeah. Scummy Reseller's name? Well, well, that really is basically starting off with that... Special, uh, that special Game Boy you got that you're going to wipe yeah we're going to do that we're going to do it but don't tell, any, don't tell anybody yeah. about that uh, that's sure going to be a podcast. secret fun video that we do but that, that where it really came so from was AJ wants to say go ahead AJ it, it came from one day how people always say that we're scummy resellers so I yeah. said wait a minute let's just do scummy resellers well, well yeah, you, you had a t-shirt I had a t-shirt that said yes I'm a scummy reseller or something like that so I was like, hey, I like that name. So I wanted to make a new channel Sticker. that was different, where we would post different stuff uh, than I post on Secondhand Daisy. Because I have I have no trouble uh, making content. You know, all you got to do is it's to be a long just... Video, like, it's supposed to be long. We're having a vlog. We're just, like, bullshitting about stuff. He, we, we he's get in a rush. Yeah. When you want to go, you got something to do, go, come back. That's oh, we, we, uh, we should, we should get t-shirt made. Man, I know. I know. We Oops. should get t-shirt made. Yeah, we should. We already. I already did some cartoon the, art that we can the use. Hashtag silly resellers. Yeah, I mean, do we have? I have a Facebook page too I think uh, that I made, yeah. but I don't post to it because I'm a very busy person. If I get like a million subscribers on Scummy Resellers, what I'll do is I'll let AJ post or or, t or take it out or be the moderator or or something. Yeah. They didn't ask me for moderators, so. You think. know what, what? What's crazy? What? Since we're since we're the Scummy Resellers, it kind of goes with our topics for today. Yes. But we're only going to do, we'll do one topic let, for now, let, and we'll just let, run it, let it run its course. Uh, 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 number one. I like number one the first because it's it's kind of starts off with like what we honestly, do and what people like us do. Honestly, I think that, honestly, I'm going to be honest with you, you should run the first topic without the intro. So you should stop no, the video. No, nope, nope, it's all part, it's all saying together. Everything all together. You know what, let me screenshot this then. Yeah, you I'm gonna screenshot the card. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pull. Well, you can run yours shorter. You can I'll, cut the audio. I'm, I'm gonna cut the beginning because this is a good thing for my channel too. When is everybody showing up, Daryl? Four thirty. Oh wow, okay. We Who's coming? Not, not four thirty. Basically, they'll, they'll come at three thirty. <laughs> Who's coming? We're killing time, <laughs> folks. I'm just coming? running this, this out. Order. I'm gonna run it till no, my I'm camera to the just runs out of battery life, and then I have another battery if they want to do it again. But you know. I think by the time we're done, all of our will be like, <sighs> no, mine will be. Oh, that's some All right, so we're going to do topic number one, starting now. Okay. Our video game resellers. You want me to clap so you know where to cut it? No. <laughs> all right, this is cut the audio where Welcome clap. to the Scummy Resellers Podcast. Today, we're going to talk about. <laughs> You've been talking for an hour, but go ahead. Shut up. I'm, I'm, well, well, let me do this. I'm going to put this on my All right, phone. go ahead. Go ahead. You know what? I'm going to stop. Right. Just do it! Oh my god. No. Just just edit Hold it on. when you get home. Alright. Welcome to the Scummy Re Today <laughs> I am with Secondhand Daisy and Video Gamer Daryl. The and Video Gamer Daisy and the new YouTube channel. New YouTube channel. Video Game Daryl's Son. It's son of I, son of I son of video change, gamer Daryl. So. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You should just do it though, son of so video anyway, gamer. I'm gonna like, We're I'm here gonna talking about this. a very good subject that I hope everybody loves it. You can check out the full video of us. You can see us on video. Just goofing around leading up to this. No, setting up the camera. Yeah, you can see us on video on the Scummy Resell channel. This is this video is being posted on ASAP Zonk and we just do audio only. Right. So today we're gonna talk about our first topic and that's that is our video game resellers or resellers in general, bad people, 
And also, we're going to talk about today video game resellers versus collectors. We're going to do a double thing. Well, thing. that would be part of... Well, both connect to each other, so there's right. no point... Right, but I would like keeping one. them... Like, we can talk about the... Same thing. No, but we can talk about them the other topic another time, too. No, nah, same but thing. you can combine them. We're going to combine the two topics. Anyway, I'm going to but start, I'm going to start with Daryl on this. Daryl's been doing this longer than me and you both been but doing But Daryl's actually, out of all of us, the most serious collector. I, I think I'm Daryl collected for many years before my, he started selling on eBay. Was, you know, Why did you even start selling on eBay? I started. I started, I've been collecting for over well over over thirty yeah. years now. You were there when a digital press yeah. opened. Yeah. You used to be one of the original I, posters. Yeah, on. I was in one of the original digital press um, Nava guys. Right. I used to go to all the meetings when they were down south. When di when Joe opened up his store, we were good friends. I gave him a lot of stuff that he put in the store. Yeah. I sold them all my Pong system. I had a really huge um, collection of different variants of Pong systems. He still has that uh, and the virtual, virtual boy, boy unit. The yeah. Display, the, the display unit. You I said that's the one that you. Uh, that uh, deserved to be in the store. Yeah. I got that in the Meadowlands for eighty bucks from Monster Billy, and I sold it oh, for about two hundred fifty dollars. Of course, it was scummy. Yeah. I, I made some money on it, but I didn't really want to sell it because it's such a rare you item. You have to do the work. There's nothing wrong with making. I money. wish that I wish thing still has my name on it but somewhere. It's like I you're wish not you still seen... have that because we would have bought that from you. What the, the store, virtual from the new store? Yeah. Your store, yeah. And we'll get one. They're not impossible to get. Once we start making some money and have a budget to, you know, I started AJ's, selling AJ's in AJ's talking about the store we're gonna open. I started selling in two thousand one because we. And how many years before that were you collecting? I've been collecting for a good. Since what age? Seriously. About 20. So since you're 20. So that's decades. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say how old I that I started Darryl collecting either. really heavily in 2001. I had a full Sega Saturn collection. Yeah. I had almost a complete... I had you were almost collecting a complete, with Ron. Oh, great. This is going to be live. He, he can tell his story. It I had matter. almost a complete Sega CD collection and, a, and a, almost a complete... Dreamcast collection. Huh. That Everyone, all, all that Paige is going to be in the video. Paige wants to say hi to you after the went video. To, went to, went to, um, like, no. The guy, too many games. He came and bought all that stuff. A lot of it went to the digital press. So, too. so you were you've been yes, collecting since two thousand and one. Two thousand one, when when we found out, oh, my, my wife was pregnant with our first. That's when you started selling on eBay, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, well we were recording. She was working for CVS, and and um, I was she had a phone. career. I was right. a machinist. I said, you know something better if I stay home, I'll watch the kid, I'll sell on eBay. Yeah. And I was getting so much great stuff on the mental ends. Adding to my class. And everything was selling. And right? again, I was getting doubles, a lot of stuff, so I was just selling that stuff. In the beginning, everybody, eBay was amazing. And, that, and the metal ends was amazing. Where you walked yeah. in there, you couldn't, metal walk, was good you couldn't get two vendors in before you were spent. Well, you, if you need to talk to her, just get up and talk. Uh, and Daryl and I will talk for a minute. Okay. He's going to be gone for 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm probably going to be gone for hours. You might as well take a poop, too, while you're here. I had more who said, I don't want my job to use anymore, and threw it out in the garbage. And I said to him, hey, hold on. Your mom just paid a whole bunch of money for that. And then you just threw it out. You don't want it anymore. People didn't know what to do with well, stuff right. back then. I mean, be before eBay became popular, you could just, nobody had a way of selling stuff. There was no Craigslist. Yeah. There was no... There was, Facebook, there, there was no there. MySpace, right? Was MySpace a thing yet? Or there was like literally nothing. So if you wanted to sell stuff, you would have to run ads in the newspaper. Ad. Yeah, or a newspaper. Yeah, yeah, yard sale classified. So then when eBay came around, it kind of revolutionized the way that everybody sells stuff. And then what happened was a guy in California would buy, would want to buy, uh, I don't know, some bonds that you had. And everybody else in California would want it. Maybe it was California pottery or something like that. So they would fight over it and price would go. And in the beginning, eBay wasn't big. So almost nothing would appear on eBay. Uh, they would have like maybe thousands of listings in the very beginning. But it became bigger and bigger and it is what it is today. And now uh, it's at the point where eBay has kind of flatlined the value of a lot of stuff. Because yeah. instead of like me as a guy that goes to yard sales, estate sales... Or flea markets looking for something, right? It would be me looking all over as far as I could drive, as far as I could go, um, looking for stuff and not being able to find it. But now it's on eBay. It's there, ready yeah. to purchase or yeah, bid on. Especially up. with China making a lot of duplicates of stuff, like with their earthbound. Well, I mean, you could make, never buy anything from China before the, eBay. They make their earthbound cartridges. That yeah. Which, which but that's has, within the last, which is, what, two, three which years? Which killed the value of the original yeah. cartridges. Yeah. Well, that's, that's what the Chinese... Uh, do is they find things of value and then they uh, make fakes of them, you know, 
And that's kind of what happened. Uh, that's what happened really in the last two or three years, right? All these games that they're doing now, all these reproductions. Yeah, a lot of. Rep I think I think they made repro of Samsung. Little Samson. Oh, yeah. little Samson. Oh, they repro everything. Yeah. They repro if it's if it, if the game is worth like fifteen or more, twenty bucks, they repro it. They just the only uh, thing I haven't repro yet is the really valuable Neo Geo AES games, the home console games. Well, the probably there's no reason for them to repro that because and there's people that make fakes. But fakes, the collectors but market is probably very it. small. So how do they make fakes? How do they get the cartridges? Do they? Take they an old take, cartridge they take and the wipe cartridge it. from that arcade machine. Yeah. Then they then they put the chips on the boards and mm -hmm. they, then they get a, a donor cartridge, a cheap a, a Neo Geo AES cartridge. Okay. And they take that's, the boards that's, up. When he says donor put, cartridge, he means yeah. a, a game that has a, the least amount of value. Such as Metal Slug, which is really like worth Metal Slug, a game that was overproduced, maybe came with the system. You know, five thousand dollar game that starts at. Metal Slug? Yeah. Oh, no, well, then you're saying they reproduce that. What would be one of the least value? Is it like a Madden? Do they have a Madden 1 that they that would have almost no value that you could take the cartridge, uh, wipe the contents, or what was like, what is a very, uh, what is a, uh, a Neo Geo uh, cartridge that has very little value? There's nothing, that, you know, like um, Sam, the original Samurai Showdown. But How much is that? Like 50 that now? Because I have them up there. Is They're it like 100? 15, 20 bucks for them okay. now. You know, you can get it originally. Do you remember I bought so a bunch no of those reason, games? Yeah, there's no reason to. Yeah, when did you get those games? Quite a while ago. Um, I think I and I think I sold them in the thirty to fifty dollar range or you something. Must have, I never saw it. They weren't worth that much back then. The first thing know. I got from you was a box of Nintendo. That was my first. Oh my yeah. First from you, yeah. Yeah, I don't remember. Like, I've sold so much to so much, so many people over the years um, that I don't even know what I. You know, I don't remember like barely anything. Uh, it would have to be an amazing sell a big ticket item for or a very unusual item for me to be like and back then I could find Nintendos all over the place you know and they were still working they, the, the pins weren't worn out as they yeah. are now you know they had the old Japanese yeah the original Japanese pin connectors best pin connectors I ever found were a, a lot of them at the you bought them right I bought a lot of them every one of them worked because they were Japanese and you were using it to fix uh, yeah how much did you pay for those well that was the first thing I was doing what I was doing is I was offering and newspaper to fix Nintendos. Ah. Before I started. You were ahead of your time. Yeah, I was doing that. People do that now too. I was repairing Nintendo. I was bending the pins. I went into a flea market uh, in Florida and like this, I would say well into his 70 year old man uh, was looking at my gaming stuff. And you know, normally when someone uh, is, is that much older, I would, I would be like, they say they're looking at PS2 games. I say to him something like, Oh, uh, those aren't those aren't DVDs. They're over there because they, a lot of times it, a PS2 cartridge will look like a case will look like a DVD. Um, but he was looking at um, the stuff and he said, "Hey, I want to ask you, do you have any NES consoles?" And I'm like, "No, not today." I said, uh, "Are you playing? Are you are you playing with the kids?" And he says, "No, I like to buy them broken and repair them." And this was like five years ago in yeah. Florida, I think. Yeah. So that's the thing. You know, people will buy it and repair it. Still, even today, I have a bunch of broken ones that are that are sitting in the kitchen. Just smash them. Kind of. No, I don't. You know, <laughs> I mean, I'll smash it if you want to make a smashing video. Yeah, we make smash. Um, I was. But so, I was. So, I'm waiting for you. I was you know, fixing I you a repair. Fix I was fixing a repaired Nintendo, full full system, one one a week. I was really on selling really. What well. were they selling for? Fifty or about a, about a hundred. Oh wow. Well, you know, just the controller with one game. Yeah. Sell it with a zapper. I used to sell the consoles at the flea market, working maybe like thirty bucks, twenty bucks. You know that that cheap. And now, the funny thing is, is they're not that easy to sell still for me. I know. I had a Super Nintendo for two months, and I was trying to sell it for like forty to fifty dollars. But we're boring. Yeah, hey, you want to you want to get involved? And you want to say anything? Or? No, I'm just tired. Okay. You should want to lie down. <laughs> So with the Nintendo, you want us to dim the lights? I was getting the Nintendos from the Meadowlands. Yeah. And then if people brought me a Nintendo, then I would give them warranty if it didn't work. Yeah, me too. Then what they were doing is they were buying used games, and then the used games, you put the used game in there, dirty it up, they want to bring it back to me, fix it. I didn't I didn't ruin it. Yeah. So this became a problem because I had to keep refixing it, refixing it. Very frustrating. Then, yeah. yeah. It almost makes you not want to sell consoles. Yeah. You know? Uh, and that's honestly right now. I the only thing I can find is consoles and common games because everybody coming around to eBay again. Everybody is buying uh, these games and just sticking them online. You know, I mean, there. I'm not saying nobody's collecting, which is 
uh, back to like collectors versus resellers. But honestly, I feel that if you're collecting, at some point you're going to be a reseller anyway, yeah, you or you're to. trading. You yeah, because so much stuff I had to start somewhere. Yeah, you go to a yard sale, and if you see a fifty dollar game that you don't need for your collection, for a dollar, what are you going to do? Leave it for the next guy? <laughs> Nobody does that. They buy it and they use it for trade bait, or they sell it to pay for their collection, which is nothing wrong with that. But then you, you know. know if you bought so much stuff, you already paid tax yeah, for it. The world is, the, our, our entire economy is built on people reselling stuff. I, was rese I started reselling a lot of my own stuff to make room for more stuff. Right. And well, you were collecting big stuff, yeah, too. Yeah, I was just collecting so many things. And How many arcades you got in here? Just to interrupt you for a second. I got, at least, I got. This is not a large one, two, apartment. Three, four, five, six, seven. I got. The I'm not just talking about this room. I'm talking eight, about them. Nine. Oh, you can go count them. Ten. No, that's fine. 12. You went throwing the pinball machines too. 12, 13, 14 because of the machines downstairs. And the other one, 15, 16, 17, and 18, 19, 20, 21. I know I have 29 machines all You together. literally have more plus, plus machines than most like arcades 30, do. That little one right there, I have yeah, four yeah. of those little ones right there, the little white one. Yeah, those that, need that to be hooked be, up to like a screen like or something. 30, 40. No, it, it, it's all by itself. It's oh, a little bar top. Oh, that oh, the right. white one, the white one. The, the, now, the nobody can see this. I can pick the up the mini camera. Mini 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 <sighs> Should I, I do have, this? I have three of them. Oh, well, you got your thing leaning against it, too. It's a mini mint. It's a little coin out What we'll do is we'll walk around bar. one day and we'll show off uh, the things that AJ, uh, that Daryl has in his collection. Like like AJ considers a, himself a collector. Like a, He's a young collector. Oh, he has hardly anything. I got the audio. I got in the hallway. <laughs> the audio is the best part. What do you think? They like looking at us? No, dumb, like, dumb. No, like, <laughs> when, you, when you do like the arcade machine, you should just put all the... Um, oh, no. I'll just walk around and, and Daryl will yeah. tell us about the stuff. People are more interested. Like... I understand why people put music as that a background when they, while they're doing stuff. The but if Daryl's going to show off his machines, he's going to want to tell you where they came from. Or I'm actually curious if, if my thing's running. You know, I can't. They don't have a front light in the front of this camera, so I can't tell if it's recording. Could you see if we are recording? Yeah. It is recording. There's a little clock timer. Yeah. It's... You have good eyes. Yeah. You're been, squinting. We've been here for like. I started to get. I got my first arcade machine. That one. It would suck if we weren't recording. Yeah. I got that in 2001. So I wanted to buy more games for that. The cartridge for that. We're gonna. We'll do a cartridge. We'll do. A, we'll show what the what the what the MVS cartridge looks in difference of the AS cartridge. We'll okay. do that in a future podcast. People would love to see that. You know. I, so I wanted to buy more games for that. It was convenient because that you just switch the cartridge. Yeah. So I need to make room. You know, and I had so much stuff, my walls were And how filled. many cartridges do you have for that? I have about 100 for that right now. So you have 100 cartridges, yeah. so, which means there's one game per cartridge, right? Yeah, I had almost a full collection of cartridges for that. Wow, Except and what some happened? some of the ones that they just didn't put out. That you couldn't get here? Yeah, you couldn't get whatsoever because they never made it. Oh. Okay, so basically you're talking about the ones that were like in development or... They were, they never were produced. Okay, uh, and who, uh, how did they exactly Actually, they have them on a modded Xbox over there? Isn't that funny, right? Produced, yeah. yeah. Um, I have a modded Xbox too. You know, I have. Um, I love to have mods on my Xbox. Well, now it's it's easy. Everybody mods everything. You know, or I just I've. Um, you use a VPN. Do you know who? What's his name? Uh, Eddie. Eddie came to Lynnhurst on Sunday. He and he had PS2 Slim, right? Uh, he brought no. It was a PS3. Oh yeah, oh, yeah he brought me that beat PS2 Slim, yeah. I didn't try it, though. I'm, if he says it works, then it, I guess it works. I don't know. Uh, I'll try it. Uh, he, I've, I've bought stuff from him before. If he says it works, it should work, you know. But I've been too busy, you know. It's like I do stuff all the time. Um, so I haven't tried it. But I got an NES Mini bootleg. Yeah? Yeah. It has, like, 500 games on it. And I bought it for, like, the shop, I guess, you know. You got it from where? In my lives? No, Eddie brought it to me. Oh. I gave him 15 bucks. AJ was like... I want to give him 10. That's my AJ voice. I want to give him 15. That's too much. I give him 10. And that's why I say all the time, I, I pay more than AJ. Since AJ's not here to defend himself, I'm going to say it again. See, back when I was collecting, I was also playing a lot of games. Too. Yeah. You know, so. When I first started, I, I was playing way more. games to pile them up. I was playing a lot and keeping them. A lot of my collection was stuff that I was buying. Like, my Saturn games, my collection, my full collection of Saturn games, I bought a lot of stuff from GameStop. Yeah. And, and electronic PC. AJ's coming back. 
Even my Dreamcast, I was at, I slipped in line for Dreamcast. Now I gotta restart my, my voice, o'clock. it makes no... 12 midnight, I stood in Just line. Just restart, restart your audio. Yeah. I'm, I, maybe I could rip the audio from here and send it to maybe, you. Maybe, I don't know. When Dreamcast came out well, with my wife, and I stood in line in the mall. Yeah. How old I were you I think it was Mill Creek Mall. How old were you Or what might have been Willowbrook Mall. It's uh, a GameStop. How old? Uh, I was 29. 29. That's out, when I played the I most. Just bought, I bought every game games. for that I could buy. I just kept buying games. One of the first games I got for was Blue Stinger that came out yeah. at the same time. It didn't work. See, you had to send the game back to the company. They would send you another game. Oh, and too bad you didn't keep that game, right? Yeah, that one would be valuable because How much? that one doesn't work. It, it's got to be a valuable game because who has a copy? Yeah, that, that, everybody that, that send that it back. That was a release that, yeah. was, that was sent back. Who has that? Yeah, that's got to be valuable. Um, one thing about... Uh, Daryl and myself, it's like, they didn't have video games when we were, say, oh, ages. No, I ages. did. No. When what I was did, a kid. How, what, what was the first Sorry, console? 26. My first console was the Telstar Arcade. So how old were you then? Like 12? Yeah. That okay. was my first console. Because Woody my first yeah. console was the Atari, also, the Woody, I got, right? Yeah. Um, but I couldn't get it till I was about 17 or 18. Yeah. And that makes sense because I'm, I'm like, what, five years older than you or something like that? Five or six? Uh, are you? I'm 51 today. I'm five years older than you. Right? My first console was the Atari 2600. Now, I, I asked my parents to get it for me for Christmas. What happened is I had a friend, okay, and he had the console already. His, his yeah. father had a lot of money. He wanted a bicycle, and I had a lot of bicycles. Yeah. So I traded him a bicycle for it. So I had this little black and white TV in my room. I would play it at night, and my parents were still going to give me the 2600 for Christmas. I wound up giving it back to him. His father went nuts. He told his father that, that somebody broke into the apartment and stole it. Huh. I was scared that they were going to come and say, he knew that I would go over there all the time. Yeah. I was like, oh man, this guy's going to get arrested as a kid. You just said I a trainer. Back, I put a blanket over the whole TV in, sure. in my room at night. So your dad wouldn't see it, right? So they wouldn't hear it. Yeah. See it. And I would play... Um, Video pinball. My first video game was video pinball. My grandmother Pong. bought it for me even before I had the system. Yeah, she bought it for me. I think Pong came with the first Woody, right? Oh, Battle tank. Yeah, that was like and cartridge. right. Cartridge. If they gave you a cartridge, combat. Co yeah, but combat was the same as Battle tank. It was, a, it was like a multi card, right? Video pinball and combat. My favorite Atari game is um, is Adventure. Atari. I was never really happy with the games that they had, but what Atari did was they took um, arcade games and they just kind of made it so you could play it on your TV. So Defender, right? Yeah. But Defender is an insanely difficult game. Yeah, I mean, Tetris was NES, but, but no, the Atari, did they have a Tetris or no? No, right? No. So That's they had German Asteroids. Game. Remember Asteroids? Yeah, that was very good. They had... Um, I played that too. I had got that. He gave me a I bunch played of Asteroids. games too, which was lucky. They had it like colorized. But I kept At, the games. I didn't come back to yeah, I'm trying to think games. what my favorite one. I mean, I liked, I liked Defender. I like uh, Millipede, Centipede, Pac-Man, of course. And then um, my, I would yeah, say my one parents, of my favorite. When I got the Christmas system, right? My parents hooked up to a big four model TV, yeah. and they would play Pac-Man over and over. So I never got to use it. They mm. would always play it all the time. Yeah, Pac-Man's one of those games. Like, can you win? No, How many levels are there? Level over and over. I mean, literally, they though. Play that old rest of is the there anybody? Has, I mean, has anybody in history ever beaten Pac-Man? I mean, it's like Tetris. Is is it they're like a last block in Tetris, or? I don't know about that. Good, yeah, because Marie played question. Tetris for a while. She just got into it, and she was like playing it. She was like, oh, "I'm up to some insane level," and I was like, "Wow!" <laughs> but it's like a game like that for me. It's like if I don't see an end, you know, it's just like, what's the point? It's did you collect? Has an end. Did you get into the Nintendo when it came out? Um. I'm trying to remember. I was living with my parents. I was a kid. I don't know if I had an original Nintendo. And my grandparents. And every, I think I got every out. The gift I used to get was a Nintendo game. I had over like 500 Nintendo games. What happened was I got a girlfriend. I started crushing the boxes. People would hate hearing that today. So crush a box, take a styrofoam out. Yeah. And I'd flatten a box out to keep the box. And I would have yeah. all the cards. I have an old picture somewhere. Did they reproduce the, the styrofoam yet? Or I probably I could, right? So. You, you could cut it out of a piece. I mean, yeah, but that I would be insanely difficult. You could probably get everybody a mold. Had, everybody that would that would buy me a gift would give me a Nintendo game. I bet you it would be, be so easy to reproduce the styrofoam because all you got to do is make a mold and then blow styrofoam yeah. into it. Do you remember Toys R Us when you used to have the tag with the paper you used to have to go get the game? you get the paper No, tag. I never bought games like that. I used to go, I would buy games in Manhattan and stuff. I didn't, okay, 
when I started gaming, I was more of a very near a full on adult, and then I I wasn't for a while because then I had to work and I had a girlfriend and whatever. I'll explain to you about Toys R Us. You go to Toys R Us and they would have the, the, the picture clothes. of the game you wanted to buy, yeah, no more and Toys there was R Us a little clothes. tag, and you would take the tag to the window and Toys give were them the tag. Us. You would yeah. pay for the game, and then you would pay by giving them the card, yeah. the tag. Then you go to another window. And how did you pay game. in cra cash, or yeah, did you yeah. have credit cards back yeah, yeah. then? No <laughs> like no, no card. Just imagine going like the last going back to I the past and just having. Was, was I went for RC Pro Am? I went and I got XX and X Vote. I could not stand that game. I That's why right, back in, back then you could get mugged because everybody had to have money on them. Now I like you gotta try and mug cars. somebody. Nobody the has any. Toys R Us closing guaranteed. There was a lot of local cars in the background that they probably threw out. You know, probably. Yeah, that they probably threw out. All them dumpster divers probably yeah. scooped them up, you know, like after they threw them away. But for me, I I I liked going to the arcade. I liked in my like in my college they had like some machines, and I'd sit there like when nothing was going on between classes and stuff, eat pizza, uh, drink a soda, and play games. So then when they made something that I could do at home, because it's like there were quarters, quarter, 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 and I would literally I it was games that were endless. Again, like I said. Like Defender, Defender was insanely hard. You started getting up in the levels. Did you play? You played Defender, right? Yeah, it's, I have it in that machine. It's insanely. How far really have you hard. ever gotten? Yeah, it's like it's ridiculous. It would, just, it would be a screen where you have your ship, and then like fifty things, and you're like you can't go anywhere, you know. And and if you press on the gas on it, you go right. It's like shoots you across the screen, and you can't see what's ahead of you in the screen because it kind of. What about the Sega Genesis? Did you get into the Sega Genesis? Oh. No, I went to Nintendo, but I can't remember. I think I had a super. I think I skipped Nintendo and I went to Super Nintendo, and then I went to Nintendo sixty four, and then I went to uh, obviously GameCube, and then I didn't like the Wii, so I didn't bother with it. But I had a Wii because um, my my daughter was of Wii age, and uh, then it was um, Wii U, which I didn't even care. I was like, uh, but my daughter has one. Yeah, so. I didn't. I, did I really like the Switch though. When I got older, I really like the Switch. I skipped right by the Super Nintendo. I'm yeah. Genesis. So you were doing Genesis. Them, I didn't get them until I was like 27 years old. Yeah. Your first I, Nintendo. My first. But the reason I liked Nintendo, Nintendo was because I liked the games better on Genesis. Nintendo. I started buying games for the Super Nintendo, and yeah. they had made on Genesis too, so I could have both copies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I see if there was any differences. There were differences. Then somebody broke my house and stole everything. Doesn't that suck? You know. That's what I was talking about. You know, people used to steal a lot of stuff. Now everybody has cameras. They catch everybody doing everything. And if you do, don't commit crimes, right? Because if you do anything, what happens is, even if I don't have a camera here, they they got cameras all over the place. You're like walking down the block. They got you like, they can track you like miles away. <laughs> you get in the car, driving off, and they just track the thing and all these cameras. It's uh, it's something that we have, especially where we live. You see all the times, like, uh, they'll have a guy that mugs somebody, and they've got cameras because they followed him all the way to this location, and they catch him later. Right? Like... I don't know how anybody gets away with anything. You have to literally walk around in some kind of just uh, disguise the whole time. Now, AJ's been very quiet. You know, we kind of went way, way off topic, session. too. So, okay, let's let's restart for the audio part. Because you guys went off topic. I heard you. I heard you. It's better, yeah, it's better for us to talk loud because the microphone. Is. The camera shut off. Uh, let me see. Well, it may not shut off. What it does is it jumps. It, it, it stops, and then it, it, it goes uh, kind of like auto mode or like driving mode. Yeah, it's still recording. See, every this camera runs 25 minutes. That's why it's a pain. If we do a video longer than 25 minutes, I have to process it and edit it together. First system. Yeah. How did you um, start? I'm going to say that. I'm yeah, that's good. That. This will run like an hour and a half, dudes. So we can just like keep going on and on and on. I, uh, I did it at the flea market, and it ran for a complete... Uh, almost hour and a half, and that was filming a little bit before. Okay, go ahead. AJ's first system. All right, everybody sit down. I'm going to do the intro again. we got to sit down for this. All right, everybody sit down. Ready? We shouldn't sit down. Welcome to the Scummy Resellers Podcast, starring me, ASAP Zog, Secondhand Daisy, and Video Gamer Daryl. Also, we have the son of Video Gamer Daryl here. Son of today. Video Gamer Daryl. Make special appearance. Make a special appearance today. Every week we have somebody else on the show. Yeah, he asks us to keep it down because he has a headache. Maybe we'll have somebody <laughs> else. I don't know. But anyway, today's the first one of our many podcasts. What about um, Steve? Angry Steve, would he come? He uh, not today. Come. He will come at some point. And we might do it from the shop. You know, like maybe some days you can come and hang with us in the shop. You know? We'll figure that out. Yeah. If you want to get out, you know. Come pick me up. Maybe yeah, if we can figure it out. Stairs, you know? man. If we can figure it out. So anyway, today's topic is 
two things. Okay. You you took my card and you lost it already. I didn't lost you? it. But it's two things. <sighs> Well, we're going to talk about video game collectors versus video game resellers. I just yeah. want to interrupt and say, That'd everybody, be. never give AJ anything because he will re immediately lose it. Shut up. Just wanted to add that in. Well, we're, we're going I to gave talk him a banana the whole one time. I don't know what he did with it. What, what did you give him? He lost it. What did you give him? a banana. <laughs> oh, at the market. Then he did lost you check it. his pants? <laughs> anyway, we're going to talk about video game resellers versus video game collectors. Could you be both? Could you not be both? Are video game resellers bad people in general? Well, there's no law that you can't be both. Hold on. And also, we're going to talk about our first systems. So, let me start off with my first system. When I was a kid, I had a... Um, Your first system was probably an Xbox. Yeah, probably. Mine was a 3 Mine's a Black 360. I was born... Not original Xbox. I, I was born in 1995, in July. Well, on that September... The PS1 came out. My mom bought my dad one for oh. for Christmas. So in my house, we had a lot of PS1. PS1 was a solid console. That was the first experience. I remember Probably PS1 was better than Nintendo. My first now. memory of yeah, video yeah, games too, was yeah. Crash for the PS1. Crash Bandicoot 2 for PS1. Very good game. That's my memory. I was about two years old when that came out, and that's my first memory. After that, like Resident Tiny Toons. Evil. No, oh, I was too young. No, no, I know. Tiny Toons. Uh, <laughs> what? Tiny Toons. I look like in the Beanstalk. Uh, okay. I remember Tiny Toons. I remember... There's a little AJ playing Tiny Toons. <laughs> I still love the game. I love that game. Tiny Toons, Spyro. Yeah, Spyro. Very good game. I played all the crashes. But getting past the games that are most popular, um, there's was a lot of really good Japanese games that came out well, on the PS1. No, well, let me t talk to... Okay. I once got a collection of those at the Midlands, but go ahead. I had a really big PS1 collection. Yeah. I lived with my parents. and my, I was, my first PS game playing was Resident Evil. Mm -hmm. Tomb Raider and Resident Evil. Yeah. And Resident Evil was so creepy. Yeah. It was so great, man. Yeah. That's, I think that's Even probably Tomb the first zombie creepy game. Out when, the, when the dogs would jump out. And they had pretty gory graphics, too. They actually had a yeah. warning in the beginning of Resident Evil. Violence. Bloody graphics. Blah, blah. I think, um, was, but what you recall it was bloodier uh, in the beginning. What was the first game that they had to have two versions because uh, it was like kickbox. It was like Mortal, kick Mortal Kombat. Mortal Com did Mortal Kombat come out before Resident Evil? It yes. did, right? Yeah, okay. Um, AJ, finish up what All you right. were saying. I had, a, I had a PS1. I was exposed to it early because, you know, it was fun. I found out that my family did have an NES and a Super Nintendo, but uh, they were long gone when I was AJ born. Was like, we're poor! <laughs> but actually my, actually, my aunt took the NES. Oh, she did? And then she sold that garage sale, which I'm going to get that later on. Did you tell her that you want it back? <laughs> uh, I know. I should have bought it. It was a year before I started collecting. Uh, how old are you then? 11? No. It's like 17. Oh, you was collecting before that. I was, but it wasn't like... Not old school stuff. Yeah. Anyway, okay. let me finish. So I had a PS1, and then for my fourth birthday, I was at a birthday party before my first birthday. You remember your fourth birthday? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I was at a birthday party uh, before our christening. Mm -hmm. I forgot, it was like a family party. Okay. And this kid had Pokemon for the Game Boy. Okay. And he let me play and blew my mind. Ah. So I'm like, Grandma. Four-year-old AJ. I'm like, Grandma, Mommy. He just, just learned his mommy. first words. Mama, Pokemon. <laughs> could you buy me? Could you buy me a Game Boy? And and they bought me one with Pokemon Pinball. And Pokemon. My mom would have been like, No! And they bought <laughs> me one money. with Pokemon Blue. I got a blue Game Boy yeah. with Pokemon Blue yeah. and Pokemon Pinball. Yeah. So that's when you got hooked on Pokemon. That's when I got the Nintendo. Yeah. So then I, I saw the PS One and shit. So around like 2000, 1999, I got the Pikachu N64. It's a system. Okay. Christmas, I remember. Oh, That's nice. That I'm like, Mommy, oh my God. I was yeah, yeah. dying. I was, oh, she ended yeah, up throwing yeah. out the system a few years later. Why? It Why? broke. Why? Because you spent too much time on it? No, it broke. It, it literally broke because you broke, broke it. You played it so hard. hard. He had it light and stuff. That, now, what yeah. he's saying is he played it so much and so it. hard that he broke it. Yeah. AJ broke the <laughs> system from playing it. Yeah, but so. What, I, did you break the hand? How did you, how did so, you so what it? happened was that the N64 was already like, like, like being phased out by then. Yeah. So we had another GameStop, and she bought me a standard black one. Oh, okay. It was like forty bucks, whatever. That's nice that you were you did replace your Pokemon one, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, years later. Yeah. Let me get on to that bullshit. Anyway, so like throughout my life, I did collect kind of. I played games my whole life. When AJ was a baby, he used to come to the flea market and buy stuff from me. I did. I really did. <laughs> in the carriage, right? Yeah. Mom was, <laughs> was rolling around in a garage. But then in two thousand and one. What blew my mind so much was the PS2 was released, and I got that on, for Christmas. PS2 was that another great console. That shit blew my mind. Yeah. Jumping from PS1 to PS2. Yeah. 
that shit blew my mind. Not only the graphics, what they, they say the PS2 oh. has the, the largest library. game library ever, probably. Uh, there ever will that be. That right? blew my mind. So Wh Which console has the smallest game library? Uh, Virtual Boy. Probably Virtual right, Boy. Yeah, that makes sense. Division. Yeah, that makes sense. That, Virtual Boy. that was like a disaster console, right? I have a complete collection for that. But just think about it. The Virtual Boy was an, 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 an insanely amount of time ahead of its time, So, right? anyway, let me let, let me finish. This is kind of moving out along. Um, so then so after that, more. 2001 comes along, and the Game, Boy, the Game Boy Advance was released. And little AJ for his birthday won a Game Boy Advance. So we My first handheld. So we went to Kmart. We had to go to three Kmarts to find it. Are Kmart, are Kmart still in existence? Some. Yeah. We had to go to Kmart in Clifton. No Toys R Us. Is it okay, Kmart in Clifton? We had to Kmart in Clifton. Uh, and I got my Game Boy game, Advance. My first handheld was a Sega Game, game Gear. Gear. And I was fun. very disappointed, yeah. So go I, I got a Game Boy Advance then. I got, I got with Mario Brothers 2. Mario Advance. Yeah. I, I, got, I, got that, I got that. I got that with that. Right? So I got that with that when I was like that. So I, I'm playing it. And then that summer, 2002, 2001 summer, mm -hmm. I got a GameCube. No, no, the following year for my birthday. I, yeah, I, GameCube I had GameCube. some amazing games. Well, you want to hear the first two games I if got? If you like it? Mario games. Listen, guys. Yeah. I had such good taste in games. Uh, you, you want to want to hear this? Good crap. My N64 collection and my GameCube collection when I was a kid had every Mario, every Pokemon, every Zelda. And the funny re thing is that those games, the only reason they retain value is because they're amazing games. Because they're mm -hmm. basically overly... And guess produced. what, guys? I did not have any sports games. I had wrestling games and sports games. That's yeah. it. See, Mike, see, my, I had good taste in games my whole life. Yeah. I'm one of the ones that never really got into any of that bullshit. I never had any sports games. And I, I put the Mario games, too. Uh, I would try... Uh, you want to talk about how, how if you couldn't afford to buy new games all the time, where you would go to try yeah. games? I, I want to talk about that after. Okay. Anyway. So, you know, we're, we still haven't got to our main topic. I know, but it doesn't matter. This is what you want to hear. What was our main topic? Are people that resell video games any scummier than anybody else? Yeah. Right, pretty so much. So, anyway. Because we're scummy resellers. Um, That's I, I remember, doing. so my first GameCube was Black GameCube. And my, and my first two games were Super Smash Brothers and Luigi's Mansion. Yeah. I, I, oh, I'm so old. I remember getting the N64 with Super Smash Brothers N64. Oh, okay. Now, is this... Uh, that's downstairs. Okay. And I remember cool. getting Mario Party 3 for my birthday. For Do you want to know? I, I had a ColecoVision. Did anybody here have a ColecoVision? Daryl. Yeah. Um, I bought it because Marie's, ne Marie's nephews were very young. They were like seven, five... Maybe eight uh, years old, and I had the Atari, but I wanted I to get kid games. I did not have television. My uncle did it, and I, I thought he, he had in television. Remember in television? I think I had in television too. He I had, had a we go Atari to my remember. grandmother's house to play his television. I never seen anything like that. It yeah. was so it looked better than than the Atari Twenty Seven. Well, it was the, the thing about the Coleco video. He won't let us touch it though. He they had a lot of colored us. games, and the graphics were better. You know. Then, uh, because before it became the Atari, right? And so I, I figured, oh, I'll buy it. And then the game library on it just sucked. You know, I think they had Pac-Man. Can you name any games on, on from ColecoVision? Uh, Donkey Kong. The better, the Probably, better game. But it was a good Donkey Kong, or, or, the or it was like the arcade, arcade games. Ones. Yeah, the, the arcade Donkey Kong. Yeah, so you know, it was like the arcade. Love. But I'll tell you the worst game, and this is when I started to go to. No, I got I bought Smurfs because I had young nephews. They were like five and yeah, seven. Smurfs. Now, did you play Smurfs? Yeah, I loved it. How far did you play into it? Because you get stuck so fast, you get killed, you get aggravated. What happened was I I turned the game on and I was a, I was a Smurf and I'm walking along and there's a bush, and right? You, yeah, and you could die. Really. So you're like, oh, there's a bush. So at first I didn't know what to do. I thought you just walk through the bush. So boom, you're dead. I'm like, yeah. What the hell? Game right? drive you nuts. <laughs> So I said, oh, I figured out you're supposed to jump over the bush. I and had a box copy would hang in the car. And they'd be like, I don't know how many times. I was like, this game sucks. Does anything ha happen past you make it the bush? Could you imagine being a Smurf walking around and you hit a bush and you're dead? It's like, what did they base this game on? Like, the, the bushes kill you if you're walking around. If you're playing the Smurf game and you're walking around, a bush can kill you. I you can't jump I over a bush. Find Climbing up some stairs, and I kept dying. I believe. <laughs> Doing a simple so thing. Apparently, Smurfs can't jump over bushes. 
because it'll kill them, or they can't climb stairs. What I'm saying, it was like the worst freaking game in the world. And I think it, and plus those huge paddles. I, I mean, do you remember those? And you had to put like different keypads. Am I? No, am I like baseball games. Just, just that game. Yeah. They didn't have different keypads. Was that the Intellivision? Am I mixing up my consoles or? Well, both the Coleco Vision did have those big controllers that were for the big ridiculously controllers. big controllers. Also, they bought. They had. They had the little, little plastic screen overlays. Yeah. You also have the overlays for, um, for the Intellivision. Right. So it that had never these big weird use. controllers, and it was a big controller with a bunch of numbers and a little. Hmm? Uh, well, they can come up, right? I'll just let it record. Hey guys, we're vlogging. We're vlogging. Yeah, if you want to be in it, you can say hello. Yeah, I'll be in it. If you want to vlog? Yeah, you can come in. It's not, you know. Oh, yeah. I have homework. Here. This will get uh, maybe 20, 30 views at least. <laughs> it might get hundreds of views. I don't know. I, I have no. T I, with even my YouTube. Okay, I'm a scummy reseller. Most of the videos I post get maybe. 30, we're going to try to do new ones on Tuesdays, yes? Yeah, Tuesdays is what we're shooting for. Yeah. The next one we're going to do, we're going to show the arcade machines in the kitchen. We're going to do it in the kitchen with better lighting. We'll just go all in, in the different parts of uh, Daryl's apartment, and we'll yes. just we'll do the bathroom, right? <laughs> we'll sit on the toilet. Got old I got the candy <laughs> cap. I got the Daytona in there. No, leave it open I and turn the light back on. Man in there. Turn the light on, please. We, we're using the backlight. In case it went really dark here, everybody. <laughs> yeah, that was the light. Because I've gotten some really rare games that I want to bring out to do some now you, talking about. This guy has an amazing some collection. Of the stuff that we've sold for so much money I want to go over. Tell, tell, tell us about how at one point you were like the leading game collector in New Jersey. Uh, there was an article or something about Yeah, you? I was in Tips and Tricks. I still have the magazine over there. Do you? Yeah, I was one of the biggest collectors in New Jersey. And it rivaled actually Joe Santulli's collection. And Joe Santulli is... He's compared me to Joe Santulli from Digital Press, a good right. friend of mine. Yeah, I'm sure he I had a lot of unique right stuff. Now. It wasn't... that I had a lot of mass, I had a lot of huge collection, but I had a lot of quality stuff. Yeah. Unique stuff. So, yeah. his, today, with his store and his big collection, he outdoes a lot well, of... Well, and plus he has the Texas I Museum. I came up with him. Did you uh, donate anything to the Texas Museum? No, I wouldn't. I'm not. To. <laughs> it's like, I need donations. We need donate stuff to... I, I got a museum. Uh, could you donate that? Oh my God! Okay, hold on. Freeze. No, not freeze. Just go. If you want to tell a story, tell a story. Okay. Why freeze? Just tell a story. No, no, no. Talking about our topic. Let's get back on topic. Okay. We're going to talk about if resellers and collectors are like the same. They're not the same. I will say that. And then we're also going to talk but about. But I will say. Does resellers, resellers stuff, are collectors and collectors are resellers. Yeah, um, but and also, does it make us bad because we resell video games? Like, does it make us a bad person? Well, as a, t a group of resellers here, would you vote that it makes us bad? I'm going to vote no. <laughs> well, I'm voting no. Especially when you're selling your own collection. <laughs> no, it doesn't I don't. It doesn't matter. Oh, yes. It's like, it's like, okay, if you don't like people reselling anything or selling anything at all, well, then there's nothing to buy. I mean, what what people don't understand is that what we do isn't business. easy. It's yeah, it's a business, but it's not easy either. Like, if AJ wants to sell you a game for $30, he has to find that game. Yes. So we're running around. We're going here, there, yes, and we're trying to get a traveling. deal. Now, occasionally we talk about our, our great scores where we find stuff for really good prices. But I would say that's maybe, I don't know, 10, 20% of the time. Yeah. Most times... We, I buy a game for a dollar, a dollar fifty, and I sell it for four dollars. You know, most times I buy a game for fifteen, I sell it for twenty-five, uh, and and pretty much that's it. Most times, if I have some good games, I have to trade some other stuff to get those good games. Uh, even yourself, like you're not, you're not, these games aren't falling out of the, the sky for us. We're working very hard. But uh, people say that it's not a real job. Well, then nothing is a real job because in every job that exists. People are selling stuff. You're either selling your time, so you go to work for somebody, or you're selling a product. You either sell part of your life, or you sell something that somebody needs. So why do you feel that people hate resellers so much? Because it's it's immaturity, jealousy, basically. Uh, they think that for some reason they think that you found it for whatever you paid for it, and say you paid a dollar, right, or whatever. And, they, and, they, and they're, and they they're just jealous. It's it. not them. 
you know, and they wouldn't pay more. They wouldn't pay up like we do to make a small profit in general, unless it's something really rare. Because they say, I, I can, I'll find another. You know how many people I, I, they come to me, they go, do you, have, and they, they come up like, okay, one guy goes, do you have any Xbox games, right? And I'm like, yeah, I got a box full of them, right? He goes, well, I'm looking for one in particular. Now, what, which one do you think he, he asked me for? Maybe, maybe, um, maybe that one original I Xbox there. game. Maybe I don't one know. I have back there. Maybe Bad Fur Day. Well, that would be a or good one. How about um, Jurassic Park operating? It, it, it's a Godzilla games. one. Uh, that's that that's one, what yeah. they asked for. Oh, right? yeah. But the Conqueror's Bad Fur Day is actually a good one. But I yeah. think one of the most expensive Xbox games would be the Godzilla, right? It is, it, it is the most one. one of them, right? And that's probably seventy five to uh -huh. ninety dollars. Xbox games aren't worth anything. You know. So he goes, Well, I'm looking for the Godzilla one. So okay. I just said immediately I said, That's a hard one to find. That's pretty much one of the most valuables of all of them and I don't have any right now. I might actually have one at home. You know, I just haven't tried it out yet. It's in um a bucket, I just gotta test it. But it, it's like here's somebody that's like, Yeah, I'm looking for Xbox games. Oh, well, would you like a Halo game? Yeah. Yeah, everybody likes Halo. Uh, I can give you a Halo game for a couple of bucks, three, four dollars, right? Would you like so, like a test drive game or something like that? No, I want the most expensive game. And that's what these guys do. They're going to, uh, they're doing the same thing we are, but then they get mad at you. Because you don't have that rare game. No, you because you want a fair price, you know? It's like, they, they're, if they want to go to yard sale, and now you go to a yard sale and you ask a kid, you could be like a six year old kid. Right? Uh, you say, hey, how much are the games? And the kid has like a catalog <laughs> of yeah. prices. He went he goes, on eBay and priced everything. Yeah, he priced them all. And you're like, oh, okay. And sometimes you you just ask the, you call the parents over and say, hey, can I negotiate with them a little bit or whatever. Um, but all this information is very expensive. It's like the comic books. I collected comic books when I was uh, a kid. Did you collect comic books? A little bit. I had like art comics. Now, how would you find out yeah, how much a comic book was worth? I wasn't. You'd have to get a price guy, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Which means uh, if you're a kid and you're collecting, you'd have to be like, Mom, Dad, drive me to Barnes and Nobles, I don't know, or whatever the bookstores were back then. And then you'd have to buy a price guide. And they updated the price guide every year because price. But now you don't have to do that. What do you do? I have this comic book. I want to know how much it's worth. I scan it. I scan the back of it. And I know within seconds, you know. When we when I first started dealing with stuff, it wasn't just games. I did glass, whatever. I got into games, selling games. I'll tell you, you want to know how I got into selling games? I was selling at the Meadowlands, and I was selling decorative stuff. And it wasn't selling well there, or it was too annoying. It's very windy at the Meadowlands. Um, it takes a long time to pack and unpack. And a lot of people just weren't really paying up. You, you're flipping stuff to dealers before eBay, right? So what happened was I started, I liked games, and I started buying games off of the cleanout guys. And what I would do is I would pay what they wanted and generally they weren't giving away stuff, right? But I would take it home and I would test everything and then I would sell it as guaranteed working. Yes. And I would get more for it. That's kind of how I got into games. And also I like games. I like uh, I tell this to people who like, well, you don't have a lot of games lately, uh, this and that. Are you still like it's into games or I'm like, yeah, I like games. I like talking about games. I like Playing games, I like talking to people about games, uh, what game they like, what console is better than this. I like that stuff. Now, I don't really collect. I'm more of like a player. Like, I'll keep what I want to play or something like that. But yeah, I don't really collect. I'm I kinda, still collecting. I just still have my collection. Yeah. Well, I don't yeah. even sell anymore because I can't sell because of, because of my stroke. I yeah, maybe in the summer time. you get the kids out. Eventually, I will start selling when I get better again. Probably the stuff that you'll you know. Well, want you know something? I saw in all different kinds of groups. Yeah. I saw the video game people, clothing people, video game clothing, trading cards, Funko Pops, pop culture. You want to know what's the two worst groups? I would say... Video uh, games and friggin' Funko Pops. Resellers, scalpers, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. all ya. Yeah. Sorry for my language. Yeah. No, it's true. There's this weird thing about... It's so weird when it comes to video games, but then clothing people, they all help each other. They go, here you go. No, it's true, though. I think there's competition amongst all groups, but I think the problem with video games and is... And Funko Pops. I'm just going to say video games. And now. Funko Pops. I just want to say video games. And I Funko Pops. Because it's, watch. You're going to say it, I'm going to say it. It's the same thing. Say it. No. It's going to be different. I think the problem with video game sellers, like a few years back, was that because of Amazon and eBay, very young people were able to, to just start little businesses, were able to sell. They would get, take their phone, take a picture, list it on eBay... And it was simple. You just put in a package, uh, inexpensive shipping, 
Um, and there was a story. Um, I was at the flea market, and this mother's talking, right? Uh, and we were kind of over over here. And she's like, "What? What is this? It's like it says here that I sold a Pokemon card for like two dollars and fifty cents." And I was like, "That's probably your kid <laughs> selling his Pokemon cards on eBay." And she's like, "I gotta, I gotta find out what he's doing." And what happened was, you had a six-year-old kid that's that's in business now. Yeah. He's making money, which is great, I guess, you know. But I I wound up finding that I would go to yard sales and I was competing literally against. A full-on grown adult yeah. man that's been doing this business five, right. ten years, but like specializing in video games, probably ten to fifteen years, right? All of a sudden, I'm watching this like twelve-year-old kid walking with with a big box of video games. I'm like, what the hell? You know, who's this kid getting all the money? And that's because he was selling stuff on that's eBay. That's why I hate yard sales. I hate yard sales. No, I love yard sales. Yard, yard sales. The I'll, you can say why you hate yard sales right after I say why I love yard sales. I love yard sales because it's not people in the business. You're not buying off of other dealers and sellers. In general, you're buying buying people who want to get rid of stuff. And people who want to get rid of stuff will sell it to you for a fair price. Especially the more annoying it is, the more useless it is to them. I mean, do you remember that box of games? You remember I bought for 50 bucks? There was, what, like $3,000 worth of games in that box? Yeah. Uh, Tony. Hmm? Quick thing, I can't upload that. Uh, there was a whole bunch of We'll talk about that later. 50 bucks. Basically, you paid five dollars for each game in that box. That yeah, was so something like that. Yeah. We got so much money. We were so yep. scummy with that. Yeah. We were so scummy. With Daryl is accepting the scumminess. You know how like some they say. Uh, I was getting it. Leave I was in the force. Because yeah. they were telling me that the games. I put them on digital press, and people were telling me that the value of the games were not what I was estimating, estimating them yeah. at. Yeah. Like Earthbound, right? Yeah. Me you thought story. it was a three hundred dollar game. They tell me it's three hundred dollar game, right? You told, or you, or they said they told me it's three hundred dollar game in a box mint, right? With the scratches. What do we get? Scratches twelve hundred. We got twelve hundred. And what happened when you sold it? You're like, I'm really scared. Because <laughs> yeah, I was like, I, oh man, I have had, you ever sold anything for more? That was. The Did highest, I ever give you that anything? Was the highest price. Yeah. I know I gave you stuff that sold for five hundred or something like that. Yeah. There well, were other in big that box, items. man. In that box. Yeah. But that was the biggest ticket item. And then, and that's when it was, like, amazing. But then, basically, everybody caught on, and that's how it is then I had a, in any business. Then I had somebody offer me 600 Then I had somebody offer me 400 They kept messaging me. Yeah. Then I had a kid. He wanted to give me 300 He said, <laughs> right? And he wanted, somehow, he was going to take the money out of the credit card and send me and come. I don't know how he was going to meet but me. But you, you didn't know he was doing this. So did the mother call you? Press. I was yeah. supposed to go to Digital Press and meet around. He wanted to meet there. To get Don't care. tell my mom. And his mother called me up. Was it AJ? His mother called me up and <laughs> says, "Why are you trying to solicit my son? He sold my credit card." I says, "Hey, he's on. He's on the forums online." And Did you even know how me. old this kid was? Yeah, I didn't know because I had put the for, I put the the sale. I put yeah. it on eBay. Uh, and then the, I didn't put on the on eBay. beginning on the internet. I put it on the website first for sale to see if we get offers. Yeah. And then. All of a sudden, I started. We had something office. else like that happen too. I, I mean, with that with that handheld I got, yeah. That um that red uh Atlanta Braves uh, Game Boy Pocket, it was the same thing. AJ just innocently posted it. On a, wait, wait, wait. Oh. He innocently posted it on a Facebook group, saying like, "Anybody ever see anything like this before?" And all of a sudden, you were getting these ridiculous offers, mm-hmm. right? And then they all got pissed at you because it wasn't yours, yeah. and you couldn't sell it. You know, because it was mine, and I was like, it's, they wanted me to send it. They wanted us to send it to France. I'm like, yeah. I'm not send it they to France. They collect France one. Oh, yeah, pay me in but France. But they want to pay up for it. Yeah, and then they started a thread where they were slamming us, and yeah. AJ was all like, Oh no! And I was like, Who cares? They blew over. No, yeah. but like, do you, does that thread still exist? Yeah, I can find it. <laughs> all these people don't like me for some reason. I don't understand it. in the gaming community. I don't I'm know, like AJ. number one in North Jersey. I think a lot of it is jealousy. I think a lot of it. Is, they think I'm a scammer, I'm a thief, I'm this, I'm that. It's just, if you're buying stuff to make money off of it, you know, then you're just in business. I mean, is digital press, is Joe a scammer, thief? You know, and, you, and you've, and you I mean, you sold him stuff for way cheaper than you should have, right? Yes. But do you think he's a scammer and no, a thief? No, not at all. No, he gave you the money, you took yeah. it, and you moved on, you know. Um, he's made, in business, he has to pay rent, he has employees. Price on things before bringing it in for trading. I made some mistakes, like Sunset Riders. I made a mistake. I got 29 cents for it. 
I but, managed, I, I, collect, I, I included it with a bulk of games. But you knew you were I not selling know. to a collector. That's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I made the mistake, and I didn't check it before the box yeah. before I left. But I've made that mistake plenty of times, you know. I mean, if you know you're not selling to a collector, you're selling to someone who's going to make money off the top, then you know you're getting less. And be, when you were doing it, there was no other way for you to sell your stuff. You were like, ah, oh, I got a guy that's buying games, and he's willing to give me more than a buck a game. Right? Yeah, it was great with digital press. I bought them so many stuff. I had Because where else? I mean, 10 years later, you could say, man, I wish I had never sold that. This was really worth so much now. The that I did this, I, I got, I went to the mountains, and Monster Billy had boxed Nintendo games. He mm -hmm. sold me them for $3 each. And I called up digital press. I said, do you want these games? And I did, I did sell them for more money to digital press. So what? I couldn't do the thing where I was buying them and then just bringing them, just giving them to them for my yeah. for the price. I was trying to do it. I needed to make you something. You shouldn't do it. You shouldn't do it. I was doing it. eBay at the time, so I yeah. said, you know something? I'll just flip these games to them. My father was alive at the time. We went up there and I sold them more for, I think I sold them more for about, about 10 bucks a game. Right. Which, is, uh, I mean, back, in, back was, then, I'm sure was it was even a gift back then. then. I'm sure it was a gift back then. You just average it out 10 bucks. You know what? I was finding a lot of games in mom and pop shops. Sure, that makes I found sense. found the Canadian games in there. I mean, you, basically games. these games show up everywhere. Two right? sealed stack ups. And they still make games, so it's like, you know, it, it's just, I don't know why everybody hyper focused on games. I think the reason everybody just totally focused on games for a few years, I think it's chilling a little bit, to be honest. I think, I think Facebook. Well, if it's chilling, why are people still on my back to this day? Just, they have their issues. I don't know. I, I don't know why sometimes people choose someone not to like. Uh, I think people spread a lot of. Yes, rumors. I have, I have a story for you. I want to get everybody's opinion on this. Five years ago, mm -hmm. I think I told you this story. So you're a young teen. Yeah, I was about 2014. I was about, yeah, I was like 18, 19. Yeah. This guy. Still in school. Somebody on Facebook. Oh, I was in, I was in college. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody on Facebook posted they had video games. That right? you did or no, they did? No, somebody did. Somebody posted it and then one group said they had video games. So I comment, I messaged her. I'm like, I'll come pick them up now. Okay. She goes, okay, 30 bucks. It was like nothing that great. But maybe, sure. maybe it was like a good deal, but it wasn't like something like... Whatever, it doesn't matter. And so you go to pick them so up. I go pick them up, and a guy comes speeding in. Ah. He goes, they're mine, they're mine, they're mine. I paid the girl and everything. Yeah. He's yelling at me, and the wife's like, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to kill you. To who? To me! So, was it the husbands or something, or, or the father? I don't know. What happened was, another guy was buying them. Right. But who did you first. pay? I paid, I paid the regular lady. So she took your money? Yeah. And then what happened? She played the games. He, they come speed and block me in. So, you, so do you remember who this was? Or? Oh yeah, because he still talks shit. He's the one who told me that I should kill myself. Uh, oh. uh, is is that pathetic? Like, and how old is this person? Oh, he's a school teacher too. So a full on a grown grown adult school man teacher. who's a school teacher yep. is telling an eighteen year old kid that he should kill himself. Yep. I should kill myself over video games. Hold on, I should kill myself. My mother should have swallowed. I have yeah. That yeah. I have sex with my own mother. Right. I'm an inbreed. I'm this. Yeah. Oh, th th over video games. This is why. Uh, uh, this is why my if my father doesn't love me. He yeah. went on and on and on. Right, right. So then him. Hey, you can come and be in here if you want. Him, yeah. and then <laughs> no, but listen to this. Him, right? I'm gonna need to this go day, to still runs his mouth, calling him a scummy reseller. And how old is this person now? Now he's like 37. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. And then guess what? I saw him in person. He runs away. He won't come yeah. up to my face and say shit. Yeah. Because it, it's stupid. It's like these petty. Lo so that's what I was. So getting back to where I was going with what I was saying. No, but how, how do you feel about this guy? He sounds like a real jerk. Um, so getting back to where I was going is all. No, the, I will have another story really quick. Wait, I want to finish my. No, I want to finish this too. Okay. And then my recently this happened. Mm -hmm. Our friend Joe, not the number one fan Joe. Yeah. The other you gotta Joe. Gotta specify. He we went know to, different Joe. He went to a estate sale. And this guy was at the sale. Yeah. This this guy cut the line. Right. At the estate sale. Remember this. He he's he's a collector. If you get cut lines at estate sales, you can get punched. I'll just say that. He's a he's a collector, not a reseller. It doesn't matter. So what happened was Matt that doesn't affect Matt, you any more. Matt was in front of him. Yeah. But no, he got he got he caught him. Now, and you said the name. Oh. Yeah. So whatever, Joe. Whatever, Joe. Joe. No, it, it's Joe Matthew. Uh, who cares? Anyway. So so this person who's not number one fan, Joe, yeah. who we called Joe, yeah. cut, Thank you. was like, so no, you're not going to have But then he still gets in before him. So Matt runs in too. Mm. So there's a pile of games. And, and right? he's not a the little guy. The guy tries to push him. Yeah. And, and Matt was like, no, no, no I'm not the only uh, yeah. Joe, I mean. 
He was like, no, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not dealing with this bullshit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So then, so he like nudges him, so he grabs the stack, and and and, and then Matt grabs the stack. Yeah. Matt ended up with the game that the guy wanted. The guy was complaining to the ladies. Why? Why did you get the game? Over here first. The ladies like grab him, grabs him first. How old were? How old? I mean. How many years ago was this? Recently. Oh, recently. We gotta talk about that and thing that, that Primo bought, that Primo <laughs> sold too. Remember that truckload oh, yeah. that I got my foot in? The truckload. We gotta talk I about had nothing truckload. to do with that. That was, uh, you guys saw a lot. I never yeah. saw it. That was know? awesome. I, got, I paid no, like, when, when guys like that get a lot of games, I don't even bother with them because they're just, I'm not collecting. I'll see you guys like later. Okie dokie. I'm gonna go do uh, I'm not collecting like that, right? <laughs> Yeah. So it's like I don't need to pay top dollar to add to my collection or whatever. Uh, no, but like, here, here's what I'm saying too. This guy to this day holds a grudge against me. Uh, he tells people don't buy it for me. He tells yeah. people I should kill my. I got him on messages. Tell me I should kill myself and shit. Yeah, you could literally probably get this oh, guy wait, in a and lot and of trouble. Oh wait, and guess what? He opened up a fake museum. He wanted donations for a fake museum. How do you feel about that? <laughs> I, f I feel like the guy's scummy, <laughs> scummier than us. As resellers. So and he's a reseller too, right? He bashes resellers. He's a reseller though. He has to be. Yeah, he Let's does. mention my friend Daniel Dredd. Last year, you know what he did? 300 k selling on eBay as a reseller. Isn't that amazing? I'm book? not going to call him scummy because he's just a reseller. Yeah. And I don't know exactly what he's selling. He does go to the flea market. But I'll mention Daniel Dredd because yeah. he did 300 k on eBay last you year. You can make a lot of money selling games, you know. No, but... He, he buys and sells. No, but he, was, he made that much because he was hoarding shit. Yeah. So it wasn't like you stumbled across. No. Like uh, some people, if they go to a big auction, remember the big game auction I had a few. Uh, yeah, I know. Six months, right? But you said you went there. No, I didn't. Oh, but Steve went there. Yeah. And he said it was ridiculous, yeah. right? He said they were a paying lot, too much. A lot much. of stuff went for overpriced. Yeah. Well, I guess you get it in hand. You got a chance to examine. So anyway, what I was going to say before is that there was all this young blood that came in, and oh, they didn't like know. Mine. Well, really young. I told you there were like Ryan twelve year old kids at the flea met, market. When I first first met Ryan, yeah. Ness, yeah. he was really young. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he, he was, was young. really young. I yeah. said, look at this kid walking like around, 13, and he knew so much. A lot of money. I was basically blown away by how much by how much knowledge he knew about games. What a lot of these kids do you know? is they memorize the highest price stuff, and that's what they're looking for. They say uh, this console, which games are worth the most, right? Or they uh, memorize like special like you you've memorized some sports games that sell for more money. I know I know a lot now, so Yeah, and then there's personal experience too. I know what to offer when, when somebody offers me It was like me with perfumes. I went to a sale and I bought a bunch of perfumes and a lot of the perfumes they don't stick out in my head. Oh, this it can't be worth that much I was not or I've never heard of them before. But in the group of perfumes that I got, I was like, No, no, this one's a good one. Couldn't remember what it was worth. I just knew it was good. And um uh, it, well, I thought it was like a $70 perfume turned out to be a $200 perfume. So I bought that perfume with other perfumes for $80. And then when I sold that perfume, it paid for that perfume. And I came back several days and I bought more and more perfumes. So, But that one perfume paid for, I would say, at least 50% of all the other perfumes that I bought. So it, it's like that kind of thing. Once you've been doing it for a while, you start to... Yeah, I, got, I got into selling a little bit of perfume. I'm going to take a peek, see how, if the camera's still in it. Go ahead, I'm listening. I started selling a little bit of perfume learning from you. That's right. Yep, it's well, recorded. The hardest thing about the perfume is that it's hard to ship. It's not hard to ship, you just have to mail. follow the rules. You can't do priority mail because nope. you can't put in a priority mail box. You can't go air mail. It can't go in the air, so you got to do it ground. Right. So it's kind of, you don't want it to leak. All you have to do, basically, is you just tell them, yeah, I mean, I've had perfume leaks. And you can't tell if a perfume's going to leak. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, a perfume, depending on where it is, like, a lot of times you can't tell, like, all right, when I test a perfume, I spray it a couple of times. If the spray works, great. But what you'd miss sometimes is if you're spraying and it's leaking while you're spraying it. So now, I, every once in a while, I get a perfume that, that, that will leak when I spray. Here's a quick story. <clears throat> I once sold a perfume on eBay saying that there's a problem with the pump. It doesn't work right. Whenever you spray, it comes out like and it leaks. So it's just, it's a bad spray pump, right? So I sold a hundred dollar perfume, say a buy it now price. I think I ran it to auction. Started How off did you pay like, for it? I don't remember. Um, probably like five to $10. Yeah, I'm, really I'm generally comfortable. For That's right. Hey, I gotta pay my bills. I got a lot of credit card debt. <laughs> I gotta, gotta make money. I gotta eat too. And well, even doing eBay, I will say, what I do, right, is I get up in the morning, 
and I turn on the computer, and then I do eBay all day, uh, except when I'm doing, doing other stuff. Good. That's If I'm not doing anything else, I'm doing eBay. And then just last night, I was up till like 2.30 in the morning packing eBay stuff. So I, because I did, Dar AJ said we we're going to come here early, right? Otherwise, I would have packed stuff in, uh, in the morning. Uh, but I was up till like 2.30 last night just packing some sales I made, you know? So it's like, that's that's why I don't like I say, I talk badly about eBay a lot of time because it's like it becomes your life, you know? And you're not, it's not a socially interactive thing. You know, like flea markets. I like flea markets better. You get outside, you're moving around, stretching your legs, you're talking to people, having conversations. eBay, I'm just like, I literally, I have an easy chair and a laptop and I just lean back and I'm like, and people come in the house and they're like, they're talking to me and they, they don't even know I'm working, you know, because I'm I like, I'm running a business, just leaning on the easy chair like this, <laughs> you know, just like scrolling around, pressing a few buttons. And I got a whole industry going, right? Uh, and that's, that's the thing with eBay. It just, it sucks. You become a slave to it. You know, people asking you stupid questions. You got to go check stuff. It's not like the beauty of a flea market, which I miss. Um, the way it was before eBay, because now it's like every t and the, the other thing is like every, when you have something at the flea market, at the table, that all this price checking that they do, you know, it's like how much is this game? Uh, Eight dollars. Yeah, you know. Oh well, it it's it's a, like give me an an offbeat uh, gaming website that people use to to check. Like I usually check prices on Amazon or eBay, but where else do people check? Video game price chart. So they go well on video game price chart. It's this, and I'm like, well, what do you want me to do? You know, it's like I didn't get it for free. Well, no, worth point. Worth point is good, but worth point also sucks. You know, um, a lot of stuff that you think would be on worth point isn't. I will still say it's it's worth the money if you do what we do. But I will still I will also say that it's not uh, the best. You know, it, they could they could do improve. They could put more pictures. You know, some of my stuff is on worth point. Yeah. Stuff that I sold. Yeah. I bet you mine is too. Yeah, you probably is. You know, I've I've recognized the pictures. I was well, scrolling through. The stuff I've sold. Well, not even the high-end stuff, probably some. But I, I had sold the perfume uh, a while back, and I was scrolling through the per uh, pictures because I was researching a, not the same exact one, but a similar one, and I was like, hey, there's my picture. And I can usually recognize my pictures because I, I, t I use certain sets, you know. I use certain backgrounds, and I light a certain way, so, you know. Um, over the years, I change it sporadically. I just changed my lighting set a few weeks ago um, because Marie wanted to shoot larger. I used to take pictures outside a lot, right? Because it's easy, you know, but that, it, it, when you take pictures outside, you have to worry about the weather. You know, if it's not sunny, if it rains, if it's too cold, you know. Um, but uh, if you want to take pictures, like, outside lighting is, is, is wonderful, you know. It's, it's, it's what all lighting is based on. You want it to look like natural daylight, you know. And uh, so Marie wanted to do set-type items, and I was mostly doing small items. So I changed the set, and I still got to fix it a little bit. I'm fine-tuning it, but... Um, yeah, so I changed my perfume set, but now my set is unique. I know, again, my set doesn't look like anybody because I have a wall in my set. I have a background wall, and it's it's my brick wall that you see. So, you know, and my, my, my photograph will look like nobody else's. So, you know, it's not like uh, on a plain white background that looks like you nothing, really you know. You really want to do anything and take them you want to come over and hang out, let me know, man. All right, I got you. Yeah, yeah. no, we'll, we'll wind up hanging more. We're going to, I mean, with the shop, uh, things are going to be a little hectic uh, at first. Because we've got to put stuff in there. Yeah, Do you want to put like an arcade in there, or you want to put a pinball you machine? Figure something out, man. Because you could put a pinball machine in, and if, and if it makes money, I just give you the money. No, but can oh. you, do you have something that that you can make money from? I mean, we're not. We may not be talking. It might not be worth it to you. It might be more like digital press book stuff on free play over there because yeah. that brings people. In well, I mean, you could have a pinball. I, I would love that Dreamcast kiosk in the store. That would attract people. That's so nice. Where is it? Is it uh? We gotta do a full. We gotta. You gotta do a full walkthrough, man. Yeah, I will. Um, if we don't do it this week, next week, or something. So uh, I don't know. I don't think we've covered like our sellers scummy just because we're selling stuff. I say no, and I say there's this weird little animosity that ex exists between sellers and collectors, and I say they're basically the same. It just there's a variety of levels. Uh, you know, I've lost a lot. Of, I've made a lot of money selling um, on eBay. I've made a lot of money reselling stuff that I bought cheap. But I've made a lot of money selling my own stuff that I purchased for full price. Right. That's just it. If you're collecting, if you're seriously collecting, which is why I say I a lot of these money. kids aren't, 
I've right? lost money on. If you're seriously collecting, when you see something that you know you're not going to come across again, you'll pay up. You know, that's that's what a collector, a true collector is like, oh my God, I'm never going to find this again. I need it. I'll pay up, you know. Um, now, if you're reselling, then you're always considering in your mind that, well, I got to get my money back. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to pay and lose money. I got to make money on this. You know, and there's there's people we know who that's what he says. I don't pay retail. I don't pay retail, right? Uh, big collector, big this, whatever. I don't pay retail, but you got him to pay retail one time, right? AJ. What? Uh, one of the people that we know is like, I don't pay retail. Yeah. I don't pay expense. I don't. I'm not paying. I'm not paying top dollar. I'm not. But you got him to pay retail yeah. one time, right? I don't even have to say it is. It's just a story that yeah. that even uh, sometimes it's a big bluff. Because if you have something that's worth it and, and so rare, um, yeah, they're going to pay up, you know? It's like, because where are you going to find it? Where is it? You know? Even sometimes just to get it off of eBay. That's right. And now, like, like things that you used to be able to find, like, uh, say, pinball machines, right? Right, Dow? Pinball machines were, a lot of people were just like, i got to get rid of this thing, you know? Please thank her much. There wasn't, like, a, a market for them. You know? Oh yeah. Because who has room for it? You have to have a like a room. You gotta have a space for it. You get a pinball machine somewhere real cheap at a garage sale or at a flea market. What are you gonna do with it? You but know, now you, you got, got a pinball machine somewhere. Yeah. You gotta store it somewhere. Or it needs work. Yeah. Right. And who's restoring these things? There's guys out there like classic pinball. Yeah. And what are they? Right? What are they charging to restore? Oh, they charge you a lot of money. Right. Yeah. So I mean, back in the day, say before eBay and Facebook and and Craigslist and stuff, if you rolled up on a pinball machine. Right, you could probably get it for less than fifty bucks, right? I mean, it, I'm sure you've bought some. First. I've seen stuff at the Badlands that was really roached. But even when that was in good shape, if the guy didn't want to deal with it, like at the end of the day, in the beginning of the day, it could be like two, three hundred dollars. But at the end of the day, he's like, I don't want to put this back in, on the truck. I got a fresh yeah. load coming in, right? This machine that I got at the flea market was my Miss Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man cocktail table. I paid two fifty for it. The guy wanted three fifty untested. I told him, let's go and wheel it over to a generator. And when he turned it on, the screen was huge. The ghosts were huge. Mm -hmm. So I got it home, and I had to have the the board re repaired. Oh, it was like... So uh, it cost me over $100 to have repaired. Right, so, so you paid $350 so anyway. I paid 350 anyway. Yeah. But and that wasn't something I was going to resell, you and, know? But now, what would be the value of that machine? Like $1,000, $1,200? Possibly yeah. five, six hundred. 600 Take so five, six hundred. All, all right, so that's not an insane amount of... Uh, but what I was saying, though, is like... Say like 15 to 20 years ago, if you went to the Meadowlands and a guy had like one of these huge uh, pinball machines, right? He would, at the, in the morning, he might be asking a lot of money for it, right? But as the day progressed... And I've he, seen them there. Yeah, and he was worried about... Really expensive. We're asking really above... But what's the price. cheapest one you ever bought? Because I know they sell for a lot now, which I was going to get around to. Well, the one I got from Dirk. Cheap. I traded him a pedal car for it. And, and how much was the pedal car worth? About 100 bucks. Okay. So wait, Derek, the redneck actually went that with a deal. That blue pinball machine there. Yeah, yeah the, you got to you got to do the deal right there and then. No, like yeah, here's the he money. He came here with he came here. I don't want to talk with, bad about anybody. With a um, electric um, pocket bike, an electric yeah. one, a razor, yeah. pocket rocket. He sold to me for forty. Yeah. So then when he 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 opened up the, va the his van, the pinball machine was in there. And. I'm like, what do you want? Do you want to sell this? He, we had sales on a price of eighty dollars. So then I says, look, man, you want to trade for something? Yeah. So we took him down to the basement, and he saw the pedal car. He says he can get he can get over eighty dollars. There you it. go. So I gave him that. You know what else I gave him? That wasn't the only thing. I gave him. You ever heard of the DVDs? We like we love to trade. Just to mention this. You ever heard of so. the DVDs that they made Girls Gone Wild? Well, sure. I had got a whole complete set of them. From Ron, he wanted me to sell him eBay. Oh, yeah. I says I can't sell these on eBay. So he you could. So but... Derek wanted the DVD. So I said, "You want?" He said he could sell them. I said, "I'll give you these part partial with the car." So he did. He did really good. Do you think they still have that? He helped me bring it up here too. Is that still a thing that they do? Girls Gone Wild? Or... I, I, I'm not sure if they still do that. Yeah. I never watched them. They were. I, I mean, were I've seen them, but I never. I mean, I think I found them at yard sale, so I would watch. It's it's back then they were so by today's standard. They're very tame, you know what I mean? It would just be like, oh, you're really drunk. You want to show us your boobs? Okay. You know, and that's that's about it. Ron you know? paid a lot of money for him. He got him sent to his house, so he took a dump on him. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, honestly, I didn't know the value. I told him I can't sell this. Ron didn't buy him as an, an investment, eBay. if you know what I mean, right? Yeah, I didn't want to sell this yeah. on eBay. So I that's what I traded. Back in the day, um, before the internet, and that's you know what made the internet famous and popular as it is today? The grassroots of the internet was basically porn. Um, that's how they figured how to sell stuff, how to, to pay for subscriptions and stuff. Uh, but back in the day, before that, they had VHS tapes, right? And they had DVDs when they came out. And that's what everybody used to, they used to go. Do you remember, do you have a video game store that you used to go to every once in a while and just... Curry Video. Uh, I, and I don't mean video game store, it's I mean like just a video store. A video store was Curry Video. Was yeah, we had a local shop. one. Yeah. And, and they had the curtain. Yeah, well, that's where I found Bath Bubble Babes because I actually, I actually went there with Ron. And he mm -hmm. went to go look at the porn section. <laughs> And I'm laughing. I'm like, what are you doing back there, man? Because they had Nintendo games that you can rent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they were selling their Nintendo games because mm -hmm. they were selling the store. So I was buying up as many of them as I could. Yeah, yeah, they used So ones. he comes out the back and he says to the guy, what do you want for this? The guy said, five bucks. And, that, and that's a very rare game? Yeah. Do you still have it? It was in the, you know, that was, I sold it for 600 Wow. Now, here's the thing about it. It was, it was in it? a case sealed. Wow. Okay? I've never seen this Under game plastic? sealed. No, it, I, the plastic somehow or another the case was sealed. Wow. It was never opened. I couldn't sell it like that because I couldn't tell what was in the case. I had to open it, which aggravated a lot of people when I told them about it. I, I probably could have got more money because it was open. Yeah, but you know, you know, because it because it was it was. Sealed. Steve just went through that. Steve had a bunch of uh, carded figures. Really good ones. Really good ones, right? But the, the cards got all ruined. They were in someone's basement or something, so they had like mildew. I've never even heard of a Bath Bubble Babe Steel. I never heard of it. I never heard of the game. I'm not sure what it is, you know? It's a it's oh. a Panesian game for Nintendo. Okay. It's a dirty game. With, um... That's with, why I was in the porn section. Oh, I see. So that place would make so much money. I was scummy at that time. I was buying a lot of stuff from them, and they were selling out the But business. they were done. Some the box Nintendo games for five bucks. I was yeah. buying them up. I was coming out of there with boxes and boxes. But at that time, there was no stuff. other way for them to sell it. They yeah, had to they sell were, yeah. off the shelf. They had to sell it to me. No yeah. Craigslist, no eBay, no exactly. Facebook, you know. Um, I bought out a store in down, down, um, neck, new, down neck, New Jersey. When you say you bought out a store, you bought out all the games in the store? I bought all the video games. So yeah. I went down there with my car and I filled the whole car up with mm -hmm. all the video games. They sold me How stuff. much did you spend that time? For like a dollar for the games. Loose you games. spent like a thousand bucks? Yeah, easily. Yeah. And I sold all that You used to go with Ron a lot yeah. on, on games, right? There was another you, guy that he used to hang down there. He told me about that. He made the deal for me. So I, I gave him some money for making the deal for me. Okay. He found a store for me. I bought out that place, all their video games. We well, get a lot of stuff from Blockbuster yeah. too. Wish we could do that, but but these days. It's like no, not anymore because Blockbuster. it's the same thing. It's like the only way. Okay, uh, just last weekend I got some really good deals, right? The only deals that you can gen. There's two ways you get deals now. One is is ignorance. The person that's selling you is too lazy to look it up, or they don't care. So it's like they don't know what something's worth, right? Ignorance, right? I mean, and then you could buy stuff in quantity or whatever. Sometimes auctions you get lucky, but it's 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 different now. Because if, if you want to buy something, the person who, who's going to sell it to you that used to be like, I got to get rid of it. I just, I need some money. I, I, there's no way for me to sell it. It's like now they can sell it in Facebook groups or eBay or, or Amazon or wherever else they want to sell it. You need help? Daryl's going to help his daughter <laughs> with her homework. So, AJ, you got to be part of this. You gotta wake up. Yeah. Well, because Daryl's gonna help his daughter do his homework a little bit. So, uh, I think we're still recording. In the kitchen. Actually, you know, this will run in a literally an hour and a half. So let me just. I I didn't time how long it would run, and it does it in like 24 minute segments. It's still recording. So, so basically everything. Read that word. Said that too. I got my glasses. Here, I got glasses. Okay, everybody, this is the time if you need a bathroom break, <laughs> you want to get a snack. So I'm guessing that's book, that's shook, that's wood, that's good, that's, I don't know what You think he's really is. smart, right? Because he's doing all this. He's not that smart. <laughs> that's my classwork that I missed yesterday because I was asking. Ah, uh, what happened? What's the next one? Uh, I don't know what the hell you that is. You better now though, right? Do you need glasses? I got like 11 pair of glasses. Am I really strong or weak? Do you take these up? I got like from weak to strong. Is that is that okay, Daryl? Yeah. Okay. 
See, those are strong on him because you can see he's holding the paper Here's like the this. Missing letters of each picture's name. Are we almost done? Can they come back from the bathroom yet? No. <laughs> wait, why so, do you, wait, why do you have so many glasses? Because sometimes I need to see things that are close or sometimes I need to see things that are really small. Huh. So one of the glasses I have is to see things that, you know, normal size. But if it's really That's small and hard to see, hey. it's like a magnifying glass. Hey, like I think you've got it. Like, Here, hold it. They're in the kitchen. I'm coming in. If here. it's like... Uh, are you going into the kitchen? You're going to uh, No, I'm staying here. Um, like uh, a bug. If I want to see a bug, because it's small, I would need something like a magnifying glass to yeah. see it. And these glasses are basically like magnifier glasses. Mm -hmm. Or this little button on the watch. Yes, exactly. Somewhat. See, right I now, this is head. Check that. I, the little button looks like fuzzy to me. So, you know, I need I need strong glasses to see something like that. I know what this is. It's like a jacket, kind of. Uh, it's so what, a shadow or something. I can't tell. Wait, what, should, I, should I say hoodie because it's like a hoodie? Sure. Let me see. I have to get close. The last yeah, kind of. It kind of looks shirt. like a, a hooded shirt. Yeah, at my show. I have no idea. Um, so see, but, so. Oh yeah, it so affects your vision. Glasses, yeah. yeah, that that's a hooded sweatshirt, a zipper. You know. What, wait, what do I do for this? The bottom one. Uh, what does it um, say you're supposed to do? To rhyme. Thank you, man. I have to rhyme with it. Hoodie. Um. Hmm. Well, if you did, if you just said, uh, let's see. Is it a hoodie? So what rhymes with hoodie, everybody? Uh, Woody. <laughs> right. Woody. You can try that, yeah, Madison. Yeah. As you can see, I'll never be a poet. <laughs> I'm not good at rhyming words. Like Woody, hoodie. Wood. So I just go through the alphabet. Just because we're 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 you know in time is, want to mention that we're going to be doing more, right? And we're yeah. looking at next Tuesday specifically. We're shooting for Tuesdays, everybody. Yeah, Tuesday will be our next one. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. We're going to do it if in you the like this, a much bigger room with a lot more lighting. Yeah, if you like this or I'll bring a light, you know. I need it. I have to get a floodlight. I flood got a light. light in there that will light up the whole kitchen. Okay. You don't have to worry I, if about I get it. a floodlight, you know, I, I can yeah. use that too. If you like this, if this is like very entertaining for you or you have we're interest in this. my rare collection games and uh, talk here's about Here's Nick. Them. <laughs> talk about you something that I've sold no. uh, okay. for a lot of money. Yeah, we'll, t we'll just t we'll just talk about stuff. We'll pick a topic and we'll start on there, and then we'll just fl roll with it. You know, we'll just go back and forth, and you know. Yeah, I'm actually more organized, but a topic on my board. Whatever. Well, you know what? You're on your phone, so it's like you're not bored. You're you're somewhere else. What was, what was this thing? I don't know. I mean, oh. there's like a million things. We're in the middle of a freaking arcade that we can talk about. Oh. And What's AJ's that? on his phone. I'm so bored. What's this? I don't know. I can't see. Tell us one of your stories. Tell us story. Yeah. Tell us uh, <laughs> about like uh, the the most money you made on anything. Your scummiest deal ever. <laughs> AJ. What? What was the most money you ever made on anything? Oh, you sell something for a thousand bucks. Oh. Why not? <laughs> I don't know if people will know because when people will start shit. Why would they say? Don't say who you bought it off of. Don't say how much you paid for it. Hook and Brook. Okay. Yeah, you want video problem. game wise or what? Yeah, you want to do video games or you can pick anything. You could pick a, a shirt or whatever. I bought the Super Nintendo kiosk for sixty bucks and I sold it for seven hundred. Okay. Well, that's that's your most expensive thing. You sold some software. I mean, I'm, but that I might fall through. Well, I thought part of you taught you brag about like your best deals or something. Like, I don't care. I don't remember. Yeah, I sold that. That was how I got the resale. That's What's the, the biggest that's, that's item the TV here? thing, right? Yeah. Uh, TV with the built-in TV. No, I sold that too. Yeah, because he only has he has a small room, you know. And his mom's always like. AJ, what's all this stuff? <laughs> well, I, money. I wish I kept it for the store now. But you, now I'm kicking myself. Uh, you get another one or you get something else. It doesn't matter. It just uh, sucks because now... I mean, we can't load this. The store's not that big, too. We can't load it with stuff that, we can't, that we're not selling, too. You know? It's like, if everybody, if everybody wants a signature piece to bring in, right? You pick one or two. Steve can pick one or two. And me, I may not pick anything, so I'll let you guys fight for my, my two. I'll be like, or you can pay me money. I got some Whoever pays me the most gets to bring in their thing. What? I got some signage and stuff to give you. That yeah. Well. well, give us stuff that we could sell too, though. You know, like make it worth it. That's why you got some money. Thousands of stuff to sell for you. Yeah, you got way more than thousands of dollars. I'm freaking like, I'm sitting in front of probably, how much like this? Is this like five hundred or 
more. This this puppy right here. I won't let it go for five minutes. How much? I had I had. So when you say you have thousands of dollars, you got way more than that. I mean, in video games itself. Just everything in this storage. storage. Yeah, storage. Oh, storage. In my closet. Yeah. Games that I have to sell. Yeah. But that I don't know really. I can't give that a price because it's got a really good border, maybe eight hundred or more. Yeah. Okay. You know, I, I actually had it when I moved here. I had actually had it sold, but the monitor went out, and I had to have the monitor yeah, repaired when I moved it. Yeah. I sold my other one to two fifty for two hundred fifty dollars to my yeah. good friend down in Maryland. Mm -hmm. That was a good deal for him because yeah. I couldn't get it here. I had to take Is the that monitor. The guy that you raced with, or I just a friend that I, that oh. I knew for a long time. Um, he. He, I had to take the monitor out of it to get it upstairs, so it was so heavy, and the coin door out. So he came to my house, he always wanted a Neo Geo, so I sold him my other one. Okay. But a lot of the cabinets I sold, I sold cheap, I had to dump a lot of them. I mean, because, I, I going sold, back again. I sold one to a guy named Sonic, or not Sonic, or something his name was. What, and, and and I, is that the, the Facebook group? I, I, he, was, he was on digital press. I'm in the digital press. Here. Before Facebook was around? There was then a sold, digital press was pre yeah. pre I sold Facebook. My, my Neo Geo Woody cabinet yeah. to, I, to digital press was pre I eBay, it was right? Too many games. I asked him, and he doesn't remember that. Sale. Too many games. So Sony and PA. If you like too many games, right? Yeah. If they're located in PA, mm -hmm. they put the machine in their store. They showed me pictures afterwards of the machine in their yeah. store. Too many games still exist or no? Yeah. And then I believe it was him. Oh wait, too many games is the convention, right? Yeah. Is there a store? Too many games too? Yeah, a store. So the person who had a store started a convention? I knew him for a very long time. Yeah. He, he, he helped me buy my white motorcycle when I started racing again. Hmm. He came and bought a lot of them. Oh, my, that's a bottle I got. Did you bought my that? Dreamcast collection. Yeah. It's neat, huh? I brought it as a gift. I know your mom likes to cook stuff. <laughs> but I could have swore I had asked him last time I saw him. Wasn't you that came up here and bought the machine for me? Since he that's what people that. don't remember. I don't remember. You know, and I had a Tekken 3 machine that was Christopher's favorite, and I had to bust it up. Really? I could not get it out. The, I could not get it. It wasn't coming here. Okay. So I had to break it up and throw it in the dumpster. That's a shame. I took the monitor from it. I still have the monitor. I sold the board from it. Yeah. And all the parts. And I mean, they could make a new uh, it was a shame, shell. But I had um. Yeah. And a lot of stuff. I threw a lot of stuff when I was moving. Yeah. When I was moving, I threw a lot of stuff out. The bushes. Am I doing? I haven't done homework yeah. in a long time. Are you helping her? Yeah, I, I know. I hate them. My daughter can play with them. I love the, the story. I have no idea what the problem is. Hmm. Is Daryl, you looking at it? So AJ, I mean, the, are we done with this blog? Is you want to call it? Because you seem to be somewhere else right now. This is like yeah. And what? Where's my index card? <laughs> I think he ate it. <laughs> with the topics, he probably like. Blew his nose in it or something. Oh no, threw it away. Um, well, I mean, if you if you don't want to do any more, I, I call it here. So we're gonna call it and do Tuesday. Yeah, we can do it next Tuesday. All right. Anything else? Anything you want to add? No. You want to give any shout outs or anything to anybody? Or we're all scummy. They're all scummy. Blue yeah, Bus Dave. That's it. All right. He's not scummy, but he'll give him a shout out. Yeah, no, I like Blue Bus Dave. I mean, I'll tell people. I actually I've been watching Blue Bus Dave uh, fairly often lately. I don't know how to, who to shout out. Who do you want to shout out? Uh, two people that subscribe. Oh, you have subscribers? No. Oh, okay. Because no one subscribes. Well, your dad. Um, Daryl started posting again. Right? I'm taking my dad. My dad's saw channel. my videos. Huh? Oh, you are? Yeah. So what are you going to post on it? Slide. Because I already did Oh, okay. It. And you're going to do it with her? But you'll still share the channel, right? Uh, Daryl, you'll post too. Yeah. So it'll be a shared channel. It'll be like, and everybody will be like, I'm only subscribing for you, Madison. Your dad's <laughs> videos are boring. <laughs> <laughs> they gave you with AJ. And so anything? Uh, do you want to shout out Paige's channel? Next or? Tuesday, man. We're going to yeah. do the next one. Be Day here. Two, we're going to show oh. all my machines. And then we shout might have a race off with the, with the Daytona. Oh, machine. yeah. Well, we can hook it up. I could bring a bigger tripod or something. Shout out. I just can't I got a lot of lighting in the kitchen, so don't stress too much. I got a lot of lighting. It will light up the whole kitchen. Shout out to Tony, shout out to AJ, shout out so to Instagram. All I have is please come. If it's a different day, you can't come, you want to come Monday, you know, if it's a different day, let yeah. me know. You know, I wonder, like, now we have maybe 100 plus subscribers on this channel, which is like BS, You right? don't want to do any more this week, do you? Do you have any more days? No, I got a lot of stuff going on. You know, I, I, I'm having a good time hanging out. 
but is this like tomorrow I got stuff going on and I, I don't know. But he says I gotta come with them on uh, what is it, Friday or do I have to come Friday or that. Okay. So that it's like this week I'm barely listing anything on eBay. Uh, normally I was I was like hustling eBay very much so this month. You know, I still gotta put a video up talking about what I sold on eBay um, last month. I actually had an okay month last month. Um, how's your eBay holding up, eh? Mine is shut down because I can't do it right now. Yeah. Well, you're going to bring it back up in the summer yeah, again, right? As soon as, as soon as I can move my arm. I just if wonder I if all the people that such, you know, this that channel right now, this coming resellers, it's really weird because I keep. I just basically need to be able to, be able to walk again. Yeah. Before I can do anything. No, I. Yeah. What I is can't Merce? This arm. I can't. Merce. I, I can Worse. You with this hand. Worse. Worse means that oh, something's bad, stuff but then it got it. more I bad. Gotta be able to walk again. So it's like pray for say me. you stubbed one toe. Have to walk again. Yeah. Everything I don't have. Taken away from but me. then you're like, ow, I stubbed my toe. But then you stub all your toes. Oh, That's worse. That's bad. like way worse. You don't even have any unstubbed bad, toes. Bad, but okay. Bad, but. I mean, do you, are you supposed to put like a, a definition in there or something? Like, should you go look it up? Do you remember when you had to get use a dictionary to find out what words meant back in those Wait, days? Wait, what did you have to use it for? Um, a dictionary? Yeah. To find out what words meant and how to spell stuff. Now all you do <laughs> is you don't even have, know, have to know how to spell a word. You just kind of put it in Google, and Google will kind of try and figure out, do you mean this, you know? Okay, go Google Chrome. Yep, look it exactly, look Google the, Chrome. Look how do I spell this word? How do I spell, um... See, she's talking to who, Siri? Siri, yeah. how do I spell worse? Or Google. <laughs> worse. You, you spell. You know what worse means? Yeah. As compared to whatever... That means that it can't, it's either worse than all the others, or it can't get any more worse. Wait, so what do I say? Do you have to write a sentence? Yeah. Um, for which word? Um, worse. What does worse mean? Worse means like, the you, you take two things and you compare them. So, um, you say like, that sandwich, that cheese sandwich tastes worse than that bologna sandwich, you know, or, or something like that, or or this, that shoe, is, feels worse than my other. Hey, Laura, Hi. what's up? I do. We're I'm we're actually I'm just trying to do this part, but I can't see it. Let me breathe. <laughs> well, I'm helping her a little bit. It's like. Um, what does the writer want people to do? Um. Uh. Um. Well, what are you, still trying to think of a sentence for worse? Or a no. different word? All right, should, the should I officially turn this off? Because the, <laughs> or maybe I should just have it bye run bye. and watch AJ on the sofa. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, do that, do that, do that. Just let it run. Do it! Do so people like to watch AJ sit on a sofa yeah. for a long time and, they watch, they and like not move to watch anything but his homework. fingers like this? Yeah. <laughs> just like, and uh, they like to watch me do um, homework. Link me when you get it People up who like to watch uh, Madison do her homework, uh, stay tuned. Yeah, <laughs> and um, doing my slime. Madison doing homework all day, all night. Yeah, and doing my slime all day. And oh, yeah, slime. That's yeah. right. That I have gonna, in the kitchen. When are you going to do that? You're going to start doing more of those? Yeah. I watched one of them, you know. I just Wait, what one did you watch me? The one that had bumpy things, the little balls in it. The peach thing? Yeah, I think so. It had like little round things in yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, I gave AJ some slime. You know what he did with it? No. He started making fart noises with it. Ew! Oh, I just want to mention that I You're have gross, some stuff. AJ. When you come to us, I have some stuff that I want to give you. It's, um, I have wedding rings. Like, uh, but they're not gold or anything. Um, right? you guys oh! Oh, okay. Uh, Mike right and here. Michelle, I'll show them to yeah. them. They have a diamond tester. So. Yeah. Next um, to, I got some. Uh, yeah. Next Tuesday, we come and give them to you. No. Okay. I, I'm just going to run this as it is. So, uh, do we want to talk gamage at all anymore? Oh. Ah. Just Tuesday, man. The stuff we're going to go over. We're going to show the difference between an AES cartridge and a and a cartridge for the machine. And you have all that stuff ready. Yep. Okay, everybody. Uh, something to look forward to. Uh, keep keep your schedule are, clear. We can weigh them. I just go on Tuesday. We should do it live at some point too. But if we do it live, oh, we, and make sure to um shout out to me, I guess. Uh, shout out to Madison. Yeah. And she's gonna be uh. Make what are you gonna go? Are you gonna call it her videos? Daughter of video game, Dar video gamer Daryl. Something like that. <laughs> no, Madison gave her um. Madison what? Madison unicorn. Cause I'm a unicorn. Oh, so I actually, yeah, I'll show you. 
Okay, so Madison Unicorn. <laughs> Do you know what would be funny? She'll probably get like a million subscribers. Oh, <laughs> and AJ will be like, Madison, give me a shout out. <laughs>